That was what that song was, I'm telling you. Did you guys hear it? Okay, now. I'm very excited about this. How much manpower are we talking? Dude, we're about to run out of manpower, but it's worth it, huh? Automobiles. <laughs> okay. That's so dumb, I'll do it. <laughs> we obviously aren't going to have enough equipment, considering this is going to take... Well, why don't we just do two at a time? And then these ones just be done when they're done. And we'll spend the rest of our manpower on light tank divisions. Okay. We need 600 tanks to get us started. And also, don't forget the cars. Which we aren't making. The only- wait. We don't- we're not done researching anyways. I'm not even ready to start production, because I don't want to give them the old stuff. And I don't have anything I can even take away from right now. We've actually got decent resources except aluminum. Which we need eight total for maximum efficiency. We have positive steel! Wow. Positive steel. I didn't think I would ever see it. Okay, you guys. Honestly, I might just leave them stationed in the capital. You know? It well, we need a couple reserve troops to put in the capital. Actually, that would be neat. I don't want to waste the manpower, though. We got one... We got dudes just kind of stationed on the interior, um, ports. Yeah, I don't want to waste any more. But it would be nice to just have, like, one soldier just stay there. But I don't want to take my good ones. How many, uh... Can I move these guys around? That'd be yeah. It's actually really nice. Why are you by yourself? What are you doing? Oh, he's guarding the the now German border. <laughs> okay, that was the Greek, then Italian, then German border. At this point, they're looking over like, "What are you guys doing over there, dude? What is happening?" What about your agent? I don't know. 30% chance of re regaining him? What if we fail? Isn't that worse? You don't have the required network strength. Doesn't matter. <sighs> no! Dude, you want me to fight Germany? This is not the time, Italy. Absolutely not, right? Italy is dead. No wonder they wanted me to join their faction. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah, they're on the ropes. I guess I'm just hoping that no one notices the Ottoman Sultanate and the United States does something! What are you guys doing? <laughs> are you gonna invade Australia or not? Maybe they're turtling like me. We don't even know. We have no idea. We know they have around 400 ships. That's all we know. Hey, 200. Now, here are my choices, chat. Do we spend all 200 continuing to integrate the Kurdistan states? Or 
Or do you guys want to use it on other stuff? I, th I say we go ahead and spend it while we got it. Spend it while we got it. All right. We brought in Azurum into the fold. We're close. PP is gone. <laughs> All right, we'll leave these dudes. These are the bird watchers with anti-air. We'll leave them um, in the capital. Unassigned for now. <gasps> the United States has declared war on Nicaragua. Who is in the Axis. Oh my god, why would you declare war on Nicaragua, of all people, to get involved in this? The United States, I repeat, is awake. B British Axis, Emu Nation, um, Italy dying, Finland gone, Japan taking over China, I sleep, Nicaragua become fascist. Real shit. Okay, United States has awoken from its slumber. At last. Finally. Here they come. <laughs> Here they come! Uh, America is now at war against the Reich, British Malaysia, Venezuela, Switzerland, Bourbon France, Great Britain. Dominican Republic has joined the Axis. They are awake. They're making their own world war. Well, it took, it took till 1943, but the German Reich finally has a new challenger from across the waters. Peru has joined the Axis. This is weird. Normally, Central and South America are going to be pretty quiet, but this could be a different ballgame. <laughs> uh, Great Britain almost entirely controls Africa. All we're interested in right now is these final two um, civilian factories, and we'll have 30 civilian factories to play with. Why do we get negative 36 steel all of a sudden? Oh, because the United States is at war! They're not delivering the route? Oh, well, cancel that trade. Hold on, I'll be back. We gotta find the new trade partner. Sweden! Can I trade with Sweden? They don't have enough. Is this how much they have available for trade? Oh yeah, the number on the left. Chat, nobody has the steel that we need. And I guess we can just trade with uh, fascist, well, unaligned Britain. There's no reason not to. How much were we trading for before? Were we trading for 40? I'd probably rather just keep that 14th factory for now. Okay. So, how we doing? I think let's use that factory to trade for aluminum, actually. Did it work? Oh, it worked. Okay, sick. So, that aluminum is useful in um, planes and also support equipment, which we are extremely short on, as you can see. We're almost actually caught up on artillery. 
we have a lot of upward growth. We need to start... We're going to start cranking out uh, two military factories at a time. And that's when we're really going to be in full swing. Hey, Soviets, you got any steel, dude? All right, the national focus is not set, I know, but I'm fine with that because I actually want to build some political power right now. Uh, the next is Align Bulgaria. The only one of us from all the central powers to survive <laughs> with their sovereignty and way of life intact. And what have they done with that? Nothing! They are cowards! We shall see just how cowardly they are with us breathing down their necks and keeping them to task. Demand subjugation of Bulgaria. Okay, I changed my mind. Let's start that. Bulgaria has a non-aggression. They, they literally have nobody. Demand the subjugation of Bulgaria. I'm down. Ooh, big dispersed industry. So that's max level dispersed industry, which I am blocking down here. We got an extra 10% factory and dockyard output, and we have more room to build more factories, which you know I love. What was the next on the plan? We we're already researching the tank. We we're going to research the better mechanized so we can start producing the good, good stuff. So the difference between these two is just better defense, better breakthrough, better hardness against... Uh, I mean, this obviously protects us from soft and hard attacks. A division with high hardness suffers fewer soft attacks, but more hard attacks. So hard attacks are like piercing, effectively. Fuel usage stays about the same. Okay, let's get better, better motorized equipment. It's going to take a while, but we can start producing tanks soon. And we're doing a good job storing gas. All right. So decision-wise, develop the iron mines, baby. It's going to take 20 civilian factories for 40 days. Do it. In return, we get 28 steel. Do it. Do it. Can you show an overview of the big factions? It's Axis versus the Polish Wall. <laughs> the North American Association. Uh, Canadian and Mexican Axis who are now puppet states. By the way, I don't know if you remember, but the fact that those are puppet states means the United States may have declared war on Nicaragua, but now they get to invade Canada and Mexico. <laughs> and Canada's like, dude, come on! It's not my fault that I became a puppet. Did you see? We were up there fighting the Axis, you bastards. Well, what were you doing, huh, FDR? You could have come and fought the fascists whenever you wanted when we were fighting. No, you wanted us to lose so that you could invade Canada, right? We all know. So they are, dude, and they're going full tilt into Canada right now. Great Britain, please help. That's what Canada's saying. Because Great Britain is on Team Axis Canada. Yeah, they are cleaning Canada out fast. On the whole, that's a that's the biggest front, dude. Literally, the entire northern border of the United States is being pushed simultaneously. And then the Soviets are still at war with Italy, Finland, Hungary, and Guatemala. So it's basically every, Italy's getting a taste of their own medicine right now. Interestingly, have you guys noticed that Germany has not done a single naval invasion of Italy? They haven't even- neither has Britain. They're not even trying. So I don't know if that's good for us or bad for us. Maybe they're saving all their big stuff for us. Hey, light tank big time. Okay, here's my question. Should we just do generic light tanks? Or do we want any of these other ones? Just do generics for now? Worry about fancy pants later. Anti air artillery. Okay, we'll just do the generic one for now.
It is 1943. We're really far back on support weapons and infantry anti-tank. I think infantry anti-tank would just be a solid upgrade. So number one right now is infantry anti-tank. My number two is finally go back to doctrine. Number three is get that research at last. Number four is finish your... You're doing so much construction anyways. Just finish it. What do you guys say? What do you think? Well, you answer that. I've got cookies! It's four o'clock. I need help. But I like this, what we're doing. And I want to keep playing. I would just want to... If I wasn't streaming this, I would just want to keep playing it off stream anyway. Cookies? Let's do the infantry upgrade. Because that's what we have the most of. We've got foot soldiers right now. Okay. But what we don't have is tanks. But we will. This is a special tank. It's got that stamp of approval. And we're going to need a lot of these. We actually have too many regular artillery. We're going to keep making them, I guess, but at a reduced pace. We need to focus on our air force more. We really just need factories. Hey, what's up, Wirewolf? How's it going? What kind of cookies? They're famous, famous little chocolate chip crunchy cookies. They look like this. Little crunchy cookies. Three will get us started. That's enough to unpause. We're back to negative steel, but not for long. 16 days until we get the new iron mines. And we can spend some more on getting another civilian factory or military factory. That's the fascist one, I think. They don't need any extra help. We could go back to reinvestment opportunities. Um, who invested in us again? Wasn't it Poland? They don't like us as much. I think it was Poland. I wouldn't mind trying another investment. Or we can just save our stuff and continue doing the oil fields. Which would also be nice. We have a lot of opportunities here. Including improving the uh, military or just saving up for the Kurdish state. A two-dimensional raid! Hello! Good morning! Tudi Kiri and all of these beautiful raiders. Welcome aboard to early morning cookie stream. And map not paint- well, we're not painting the map, but it is being painted. <laughs> Monka S. Chat. Lurkers. Are you going to allow these raiders to roll into your territory unattended? Are you not going to respond in kind? They come wielding magical fire. No, my chat's too afraid. This monka ass chat is online right now. I'm having a little snack, but thank you so much for the raid. That was very nice. Welcome, Inya. Tutti Kiri. Dap Dude. Evanito is... Pre is uh, been adopted. Nemo55. Hello, SPFAR. What's up, Proofer and Nemo? Again. Riza, Dreadvink. Hey, Mastani, FG Squared. Welcome. And Howdy Lex as well. And everybody else. We are currently playing, uh... I wish somebody had clipped the recap 
of our game. We're playing a little bit of Hearts of Iron 4. A new DLC just came out, giving some new facets and ways to play um, Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey. So we've converted Turkey back into the Ottoman Sultanate, and we're trying to reclaim the former glory of the Turkish Empire. We're playing a really wild, ahistorical game where things have been insane. Ahistorical in this case means that things do not progress as they normally did in the 1930s and 1940s. Uh, the world, of course, is on fire still, but just in a different way. Uh, in this timeline, I don't even know where to begin. I'll give you the short rundown. In this timeline, the UK joined the Axis very early on, decided to go back to their monarch roots and uh, empowered the king as a despot, absolute monarchy. They found common ground with Germany and uh, decided that they actually didn't need Italy. Italy joined their own faction and are currently catching the heel of the combined forces of the German Reich, the Great Britain Empire, and all of the puppet states that they've been able to create as they've steamrolled Western Europe, including Spain. So everyone in Western Europe is fascist in some form or fashion. But not just Western Europe. Also, the fabulous Emu Empire. <laughs> the once proud nation of Australia uh, was part of the Commonwealth of Nations and they were not able to stand up to the might of combined Axis, Great Britain, and Germany. New Zealand fell as well, as did Malaysia. Africa is now basically one giant Great Britain colony. The Soviets and the Axis are currently in a standoff. Between them... ...is this beautiful group of people, uh, as founded by Poland. The Midzimorzy. This is a faction that runs north to south all the way down to the Black Sea. Welcome our emu overlords. The most recent event that happened was America finally decided 1943, enough's enough, the world's crazy, and they declared war. Of course, everyone remembers how his, how the USA swooped in to save the day. Wait. No, um, they're actually trying to annex Nicaragua in this timeline. It just so happens that Nicaragua is part of the Axis, and the USA is like, well, if I gotta kill the entire Axis to take Nicaragua, well, so be it. So that's how um, things are going right now. The United States is invading the Axis province of Canada and the Axis puppet state of Mexico simultaneously to get to Nicaragua in Central America. <laughs> it's pronounced America. So that's where we're at. As Turkey, we're not in any faction. We are not aligned. We're just biding our time. We went full traditionalist values, um, brought religion back into the Ottoman Empire, and we're using that religious fundamentalism to justify annexing the former Ottoman Empire states. So that's where we're at now. And we're deciding what we want to research when you guys showed up. But thank you so much for the raid. Get a uh, shout out in the chat as well. I don't usually stream at this hour. It is 4.20 in the morning right now. Mods are asleep. But I really appreciate it, and I hope you had a good stream. And chat, if you're here, absolutely give 2D Kiwi a follow. They play a lot of similar games to what you find on this channel. Last team playing Two Point Hospital. That's a really fun game. We played that a couple times on stream. Saw some Crusader Kings. There's also RimWorld over there and more. 
If you hear RimWorld on this channel, that's that's usually a a nice dog whistle moment. No mods means we can be naughty. When has that stopped you before? I should probably just deputy mod Liuda, who can never um, seem to just leave this stream. That way we have a mod on the scene. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> why? <laughs> What do you mean, why? I've already had to ban somebody. I banned somebody within the last hour. <laughs> okay. What do you guys want to research? How about some um, support companies? Is logistics the most important company for armor division? For tanks and uh, mechanized, is logistics the most important one to put with it? Chad, I haven't known you all long. Do I need to be worried? Yes, you do. Chad doesn't know. Okay, so morning Chad doesn't know how to play this game. I don't either, so that's okay. They're in good company. This is actually only my second campaign. <laughs> so if you're overwhelmed by all this stuff, don't worry, so am I. <laughs> I guess we could just go for, um... We do have 150% accelerated research speed on fighters. We could go for, like, the advanced fighters and get a leg up there. But we know we need production. So why don't we take it? Let's get the flexible line. It's a 10% efficiency cap for all of our production lines. And also, um, when we swap productions, we get to retain 20%. So normally... Normally... On our production lines, if we're making guns, for example, and we switch to anything else, this green bar will reset all the way down to here. So we're at 90% efficiency. The more efficient we are, the faster we're going to produce these things. Think of them like uh, the individual factories have to be specifically kitted to make whatever it is you want. And if you change what you want, then the factories have to change, which is what resets this. So if we pick the research uh, that we just chose to make them more flexible, then if we decide to change what they produce, they will continue to stay more efficient. This is the easiest Paradox game? That's because You're saying that because you know how to play it. It's absolutely not. That's a lie. <laughs> this is so far from the easiest Paradox game. It's not even a joke. Logistics in field hospital than signal, in my opinion. We'll uh, we'll start working on that. But since we need tanks, bef we need tanks before we need people that help the tanks, right? <laughs> city skylines is the easiest one. Everybody forgets about city skylines. That's a published game, though technically, not developed. Align Bulgaria. Bulgaria, the only one of us from the central powers to survive with their sovereignty and way of life intact. And what have they done with that? Nothing. They're cowards. We'll see just how cowardly they are with us breathing down their necks and keeping them to task. We are demanding subjugation from Bulgaria. I'm curious how that's going to go. If you want hard, try Hearts of Iron three. Oh yeah, if you want hard, uh, try Crusader Kings one, okay? Like, the old ones are so hard because they're like obtuse, 
Uh, if you play Crusader King Zero, like that doesn't even have a UI. You just use your imagination. That one's the most difficult. I hope Colossal's making a City Skylines 2. I think they're still milking money from City Skylines that exist. I don't know how. I don't know how that pe that it's still able to consistently make money. Okay, so none of these are mutually exclusive. We can choose any of them that we want. Reclaim the Fallen Empire, remove the Kamalis from power, and restore the authority of the Sultan. That was only the first step to our master plan. We shall march across the entire world till our empire is made whole again. Good luck with that. Weekly manpower plus... <gasps> Dude, 2,750 people per week? Forever? The Ottoman Sultanate will be known as the Ottoman Sultanate. Oh, that didn't change your name at all. Unlocks reform decisions. <laughs> if you want super hard, try five or Crusader Kings four. You have to make them yourself first. That does sound pretty hard. Expand the Sadabad Pact. This was a worthy initiative of the Kamalas, but we surely have more in common now with the signatories than we ever have before. Let us not waste time on half measures. It's time to approach the Sadabad Pact members to formalize a proper alliance with Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran. Thank you. So you guys were trying to tell me that that wasn't a good idea. Oh, he's, in, he's doing peace. I was ready to make my own faction. The Damas Damascus Dicta. Bourbon, France is weak. All we need to do is threaten the possibility of war if they don't surrender Syria. I don't think that'll work as well as you think it'll work, game. Bourbon, France is not what that is supposed to say. Uh, Bourbon, France is part of the Axis. I don't know if I want to threaten the Axis, because great it goes straight to Great Britain instead. Because Great Britain took over Syria. <laughs> I don't think I want to threaten Axis Britain over the Damascus Dicta yet. Let's wait. This one requires all the following. This one only requires Reclaim the Fallen Empire. Ooh, we get a bunch of free infrastructure. Camel units! Desert Camel Core! Oh my god, this is crazy. I can't believe chat... Did you guys know that you were picking Desert Camel Core Path when you picked... Ottoman Empire. That's probably what did it. In my opinion, chat, I think we go with the Sadabad Pact first. Get the faction, because we are a sitting duck all alone. None of these countries have gotten into any trouble with any of the other powers so far. So why not group up? Right? Why not group up first before someone declares war on us? Then, go for weekly manpower and all that. Sound good? Dude, we're red now, sort of. We are red now. Bulgaria kneels before our power. We are one step closer to reclaiming our former glory by bringing to heel the unscrupulous Bulgarian state and bringing them in line with our own values. The celebrations have taken place all across the country in recognition, recognition of our great victory. Bulgaria becomes puppet of Ottoman Sultanate. Plus 120 political power to spend. What? Well, I don't know what to do. This is new gameplay. Let's make a save. I wonder whose job it is to create these trees? Well, considering it's the majority of the DLC in this case, it's probably a bunch of people. Do we can create a faction with them, but we this should is wait. The sub -sound. We shouldn't do this until after we've already done the other one in case this interferes with that. Right? I guess we- would it be a bad idea to improve diplomatic relations?
we probably need... Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming what we want is to create the faction with uh, our buddies, Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan. Then make them part of the faction. Then guarantee their independence. Well, if they're part of the faction, we don't have to guarantee their independence. We can just go to war when they're, they're already in our faction, right? Spend on Kurds? Yeah, what well, we just got, we're probably going to spend on Kurds. Though I would also like to drill for oil. Ooh, here's reform the Ottoman Empire, and we can try to repair the Suez Canal if we own Cairo and Sinai. <laughs> oh, interesting. I don't think we're going to own that anytime soon, but there it is. I'd like to all start another factory as well, but let's do the... How much are we getting per day? One per day. All right, let's... Unpause for a minute. When can I do this? Has industrial concern. Petrol Ofisi. Where's that? Has industrial concern. Is that a person? Yes. It's a... Uh, it is... This is the industrial concern. We're currently on Turkish... Um... The Debt Council still has sway, chat. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll, we'll do the Kurds, then we need to see if Poland wants to invest. Alright, Kurds first. There's so much cool stuff here. So what Kurdish state are we doing now? Uh, Van. Okay, we're trying to bring the people from Kurdistan peacefully back into the fold. Cooperating with local leaders and assuring the Kurdish states that the country can decorously reintegrate them into our national framework. Boom. There's only one more, chat. I think. There's only one more Kurdish state. What are you guys talking about? Foreign influence. The countries we have taken under our protection deserve only the best and most equitable governments. Destabilizing influence from alien I ideologies must be curtailed. Military parade in Bulgaria. They get a military parade which grants mobilization speed, daily support for unaligned for 120 days, but it costs 0.5 political power. Ling, thanks for hanging out and have a good night. We're going for a bit further. They're pretty well in support of Unaligned already anyways. So let's unpause while I read the rest of these. Control all Greek states. Oof. Yeah, that's tough. Excavation 5. That is a lot of oil. All right, how much oil do we get right now? We're at 20, and we're exporting 13, which seems like a lot, but okay. <gasps> He's done it! We actually have 30 civilian industries. We are producing two factories simultaneously because we're getting, um, bulky. Oh, wait a second. We can build in Bulgaria. Are you telling me? Well, okay, do I get to use their? Do I get to use their factories or no? They have a reasonable amount. Oh, I can see everything they can see. Chat, where are their soldiers, dude? Look at these soldiers on the border of uh, the Romanian People's Republic. Conquer who? Wait, why can I try and conquer Romania? Do we have a claim on- where- what are all my claims right now? 
Oh, we did get the Austro-Hungarian claim. Kingdom of Hungary gains rekindle Imperial Sentiment, which gains daily support for unaligned. Huh. For a thousand days. When unaligned support is high enough, enables decisions for these nations to reform Austro-Hungarian Empire and join the Central Powers. Building stuff in Bulgaria lowers their autonomy, which allows you to leech off of them more and eventually annex them. There's no- is there a guarantee that that can even be possible? I'm anxious to start getting so many military factories. There's, there's really not that many building spaces. There's only like five, six... Uh, they got two things queued up here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only eleven building spots. I don't know if that's enough to actually tip the scales in my favor. Hey, Tal, hope you're having a great morning. Thanks, Hoosier Hills. Welcome back for three months. Good morning to you as well. I am actually having a fantastic morning. I'm really having... I'm just, like, obsessed right now. This wasn't supposed to be a 12-hour stream, but... Uh, I'm having more fun than I did in the Greek campaign by far, even if we could just lose at a moment's notice, because I feel like my plans are close to success. We're close, Jack. How do I know what their autonomy is? They have really good infrastructure, I'll give them that. <laughs> Liuda, I just like seeing Cookie Clicker. We, our Cookie Clicker, we've got the grandmas in the kitchen stage. You know, we got like a thousand grandmas in the kitchen. Canada has capitulated to the United States, who is now in control <laughs> of their home area. You know what? They just really wanted to bring Alaska onto the continental, or it was already continental, but into the contiguous United States. That's the word. Rip Axis Canada. This was always meant to be. Hello, Sim. Welcome back. Good morning. United States finally entered the World War because they wanted Nicaragua, but unfortunately for the United States, Nicaragua had joined the, fac the faction of Axis. The Faxis, if you will. Great Britain, I don't know what they're up to. I mean, you have some great potential to create a powerful faction. I feel like that's true as well. I'm curious what Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan are doing. We're about to find out, chat, because we're expanding the Sadabad Pact right now. Bulgaria has bent the knee. And we're about to form our own faction, finally. We just have to stay under the radar long enough. And we're very close to reintegrating all of Kurdistan as well. So, I feel like we're doing pretty good. We got numbers on our side. We're about to have technology on our side. Uh, two, the PSA Woman and OS Karmaloaf are about to join. Chat, the Navy is almost 40 ships. Wait. It is 40 ships strong. There's the PSA Johnson Tration, a 1940 Tier 3 cruiser hull. This is our um, heavy medium cruiser. Let's group those up. Yep, 40 ships strong. The Turkish Navy is looking pretty fearsome. All right, how do I do the... Uh, the crown jewel again. It has to be on their design or something. Oh, I just remembered something. I'm pretty sure we need. We have not been making any uh, naval bombers. Let's start doing that. We only need like ten. Um, we only need like 10, so what can I ditch? 
one anti-air. Okay. Not gonna lie, I still don't understand naval warfare. I really don't either, but I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm sure it will be. This alt alternate history has just so... I'm just so fascinated by it. I really want to see... But I also am more interested than when we were fast-forwarding last time. Because I'm still a player. Like, I'm not just a puppet. So we still have, you know, agency. Is there anything else I should maybe start producing that I forgot about? Plane-wise? Am I doing the... Hang on. Yeah, we're doing carrier neighbor... Ugh, carrier naval bombers. And the fighters as well, but just regular ones. We're doing light tanks. We just need military factories. We're getting them. We're getting them. We're actively building them right now. We need to start making mechanized. But not that mechanized. We're researching better ones. Axis getting smacked? What happened in Spain? People's... The People's... Rep I think there was a common turn... Um, <laughs> uprising. How is Italy... Dude, Italy is just holding out on the north. <laughs> They're winning! Oh, hang on. They're, they, they were all the way... Italy was all the way to this. On the tug of war. And they bringing it back to half. Monka. Well, it helps that they have somehow inflicted 3.26 million casualties on the German Reich and 2 million British casualties. Though North America is technically involved in this, the United States have suffered 581,000. They're getting their feet wet really fast. I don't know where, though. It says, Mex dude, it's the war with Mexico has caused them 374,000. Mexico's only lost 183. Mexico is winning on the southern United States Axis front. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. It breaks it down. Peru has inflicted 70,000 United States casualties. Okay, that's not all, though. There's another tab for this. The Costa Rica-German War. Okay, is this the same? No, I think this is a separate... Well, I think the Mexico casualties are the same. But these are separate casualties. United States has killed 332,000 British soldiers and 245,000 German soldiers and then 100,000 Mexican soldiers. So, they're doing okay. I don't know how many they've got. It's Mexico versus the, I mean, uh, America versus the entire combined axis. We have no idea. Anyway, we just researched infantry anti-tank. Arming our infantry with anti-tank rifles allows them to take out lighter armored vehicles while maintaining mobility. That's just a nice perk to have. Does that automatically update everybody? I think it does. I might even go one step further, but that's still a nice start. Uh, perhaps... Let's just go Construction 5, because we need Excavation 5 for a lot of projects anyway. And we're about to get another research. You are producing equipment you have no division template for. Do we not? What's this? Did I click the wrong one? Yes. Chat, did I do motorized infantry instead of mechanized? I don't- I don't think we had mechanized at the time. 
So I don't think it was an option. That's where it went wrong. It didn't exist before. Here's the good news. We have been doing army training, so I can override this. The bad news, it resets us to zero. Oh well. There you go. We've just changed all of it. Uh, I was saving that for support. But there you go. Rip. 25 points. This alternate history is way better. <laughs> it's way crazier. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, I got some bad news. Bad news, chat, if you're in New Mexico. And, uh, well, there's the New Mexican border. If you don't like time zones, you think you're cool because you don't have daylight savings time in Arizona. And you're about to see Baja pop on up to San Diego right now. The Battle of Tijuana. <laughs> that just sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> I fought in the Battle of Tijuana. <laughs> I can't even, like, say it with a straight face. I defended San Diego with my lives. All right, I laid it down for you in San Diego. Fighting the Axis. Mechanized 2. The sequel. That's not a mech, dude. They ride around in those little RC cars? That's crazy. How do they even fit in there? There's only one person per car, if that. Four extra defense. Breakthrough is good when you are when you need to get somewhere and break through enemy lines. Just faster. Just faster is good. Hardness better against soft attack. More armor. More piercing. Seems just all around way better. Okay, so we can just instantly change to tier 2. And we know we're going to need a lot of these. Roughly the same as we need tanks. I was there, stopping the siege of Los Angeles. Oh, we have a research slot available. Okay, we'll read that in a moment. Hold on to that. What is the most important thing? Maybe going ahead and cashing in on that 150% design buff for fighters? Maybe finally studying battleships? It's only 40 days. We might want to start a battleship. We do need some backbone. Okay, good option. Artillery, not super sold on it. I'd rather just get tanks and bombers. And we've already got tanks. We just need construction. Uh, oh, these ground units... Like the logistics company. Yes, we do need that to add to our divisions. But we don't even have the... There's so many good things. The sooner we get research speed, the better, too. But what are you going to do? We actually have so much fuel, dude. 164,000? Very nice. Very nice. We will never finish a battleship? I guess not. I don't know. We have really good... Um, really maxed production... You might be surprised. It only takes 40 days to do the research. To get tier 3. One it only takes it only takes like 5 uh dockyards. It's just the resources. All right. Well, let's just do tier the big tier fighter then. Let's try and prepare and hope that by the time we finish this um we can actually have some military factories we are doing pretty good building these up 
And I think this is where we go full swing into mobilization. Getting all these military factories is going to be the game changer. Let's build some of these in Constantinople. You have two. Uh, we got room here. Unless we want additional... I'll save two spots in case I want dockyards. Already got five dockyards here. So we'll put the one in Bursa. We're going to lean full into military now. <sighs> Chat, this is the moment. It is time to approach the Satabad Pact members so we can formalize this agreement into a proper alliance. And then we will pursue reclaiming the fallen empire. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. Do I have to do anything or is there, I think there's an event. I think. Should we go ahead and finance another factory? Just a little political power gain debuff, but it is... I, th I say let's just go ahead and finish... Um, let's finish integrating the Kurds. Let's try and save up for the final Kurd spot. Do I have to do anything? Gets event. Oh, they all get the event that I've invited them. So I have to wait and see what they say. I'm nervous. What if they say no and I feel like a buffoon? I guess we can start making another carrier soon. I don't know what tier we have researched, though. We do have the Mark III. We could probably just upgrade it. Oh, we have so much fuel. Why don't we send the boys... Oops. Why don't we just send the boys uh, to do some more exercises? And let's see how quickly we tank our fuel. Costa Rica has capitulated. The Costa Rican government has gone to exile and they've capitulated to Nicaragua. Wow. US not even going to defend Costa Rica after you invited them? <laughs> it appears your spy has been killed. He made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Reports from Italian sources are naturally sparse. But it appears Ruzi was being tracked by Italian counterintelligence. It seems likely he was about to be captured and either choose death to avoid getting out vital information under interrogation or was killed by Italian agents resisting arrest. Rip. How you doing, Panama? Better question, how you doing United States? Chad, I think United States is mad at Mexico. I think United States was like, remember how you killed everyone in the battle uh, of Tijuana? <laughs> we're coming from Guatemala and we're going from Mexico City. Yeah, they're going deep. There's Monterey. I remember flying over Monterey in Microsoft Flight Sim. Is it, it's weird I recognize this whole mountain range now. I can vividly remember what it looked like when we were flying over this. Uh, in fact, do you recognize this, chat? Do you recognize this? Where could that be? Does anybody actually know where this is? From the Microsoft Flight Sim streams? Before I say it and tell you what it was? You left us there. Laser Lord remembers. Laser Lord remembers. You guys all live there. <laughs> that is, uh. 
Mexico's Alcatraz. <laughs> we landed there in Microsoft Flight Sim. Italy's making a comeback, actually. They got a little bit more land than they did before. There's a lot happening right now. Well, big win for um, the Soviets. Communist China just joined the common turn. There you go. Dude, we got so much potential here. I can see it. We just have to utilize it. How many tires are we short? Five? Is that worth trading for? We're actually extracting some. Realistically, what we need to do is change our trade policy, but when we do that, we're going to lose a bunch of civilian... Um, we actually are fairly well balanced. I think one thing that we've done a fantastic job of is make this trade policy work for us. We've stayed in export focus for a lot longer than we probably should have, but we've actually balanced our resource generation. And what that does is since we're exporting 50% of our resources to the 25%, we're getting a lot of extra um, trade. We're getting 23 trade factories. Or if we cut that down to 25%, we would lose like 11 and a half civilian factories overnight. So we're, we're really powering away at this. In fact, we got three extra ones here that I didn't even, I don't even know how we got those. <laughs> We're building so many military ones. So notice how we only have 233 days of fuel. I definitely think we should spend one synthetic refinery. In the mix, at least. Maybe even more. But let's start with one, because we're losing so much fuel. We're consuming uh, 1.4k per day, and we're producing 800. So we're actually not that far from breaking even, and that's with airplanes in exercise mode and our fleet going simultaneously. So let's just do one synthetic refinery to start with. We'll get another 124. We probably do need two. We don't have to be necessarily even. Okay, let's do two. I'll do one in Ankara as well. No, not the capital. I'm trying to do landlock. Okay, right there. Let's do two of those. And then continue pumping out military factories. Spread the love. And then we're gonna get, like, mass infrastructure in a bunch of these places as well. Yeah, and Kara's not the capital anymore. You're right. It is Constantinople now. You are correct. But still, it is the most infrastructured place that we've got. Ooh, I'm not used to building this fast. We're finally making the turn towards full-scale military complex. At last. Realistically, we need to continue to add even more guns. So let's go ahead and reserve two more factories here. Okay, so cruiser-wise, how many cruisers have we made, chat? We're on Flying Potatoes and OS Cypher now. And the heavy cru- I think this is a heavy cruiser, right? The TRN Auxili- Auxili, excuse me. Popping out of the oven. We got three cruisers simultaneous. Two light, one heavy. Let me see what we're at. Twenty-seven, uh, twenty-seven destroyers, four light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, one old battle cruiser, and our carrier. That's not bad. That is really not bad. Did we ever get a notification on, did they accept my offer? I don't know if they did the event. Uh, we'll look at this in a moment. I think... 
Once these ships are finished, we're gonna end up with six light cruisers and three heavy cruisers and 27 destroyers. Is that a good ratio? I think what I'd like to do is start researching the next level of destroyer. So we'd end up with 27 destroyers, nine cruisers, uh, three of them heavy, a carrier. I think we start building a carrier again. You don't have a faction, so they can't join it. Did I, so this event, did this event die? So if I make the faction now, will I retroactively be able to invite them to the faction or no? That's dumb. I thought I was going to create a faction. Devs, please. Because I could have invited Bulgaria to join a faction, but I thought it was going to break everything. They're in a faction? Bulgaria is in Sadabad Concordat with the Ottoman Empire. I'm already in it! It just made it with Bulgaria! But we're the only two people in the faction! So clearly, like, I didn't name that or do that, so what happened? They're improving relations with us. Try inviting them? I can't. Negative 100. Chad, did they leave me on read? I'm going to be so upset if we don't get um, the result of that. Clearly it did a thing because it automatically put Bulgaria into it. Does this game have a fatigue system? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know, dude. Okay, so this is the weird one where we have to threaten France, or we can just support the East. Reclaim the Fallen Empire is complete. Removing the Kamalas from power and restoring the authority of the Sultan was only the early step for our master plan. We'll march across the entire world until our empire is made whole again. We got a big thing. Abdul Majid II, our Caliph, gains 2,750 weekly manpower in perpetuity. Mobilization speed is 20. Okay, so what's mobilization speed, chat? War support is up 30%. We're at 100% war support. They're ready to go to war. Yeah, Nairo, that would be cool. I'm pretty sure, chat, you can go back and, and uh, if you want to find the VOD from when we were first doing the Sadabad Pact, it would have been 70 days ago from October 29th. And we can reform the Ottoman Empire. New decisions. So we're about to add a ton of infrastructure to some of our eastern states. Maybe, okay, so we've had some delays in the past. It's possible, I mean, we're at plus 100 relationship. It's possible they just have a, a long fire on them. The Dutch government has gone into exile. The main forces have capitulated to Italy. <laughs> who's, who's now in control of their home area. The struggle between Italy and the Kingdom of Netherlands was only a small part of the conflict. Um... 
Where are the Netherlands at this stage <laughs> in the game? <laughs> Where did they go? I'm not sure what that is about, but anyway. New research slot time. We are almost maxed. We just got a flexible line. That's that's the final one. We are done on production. We are approaching the end game now, chat. Maybe we should just start researching atomic. <laughs> just start getting nukes. <laughs> no. We could get the high tier naval bomber. I say Let's start upgrading our boats again. We do have we have such a sizable navy. Let's fix our boats up. Um This is for battleships and heavy cruisers. These are just passive. That just help every single ship do 5% more damage. We could get some different subs. We really don't have any subs or any good detection. I guess we could get radar again and start building some radar stations. It's a good idea. There's so many things. What do we want? What do we want? Probably not tanks. We've ignored support companies for a very long time. All right, chat, what'd you say? Logistics and what? We'll do logistics. Rip the Band-Aid off. We got two more researches coming up. What's the UK up to? Bro, that's the Axis. They're just fighting Axis things. They're currently at war with the United States. And... Uh, how long have they been at war on the Soviet Union? Well, at some point, Japan, Germany, and everyone else declared war on the Soviet Union. I don't literally know why they're at war, but they are. And hilariously, the only way the Soviet Union can strike back is by passing through Denmark. Because <laughs> we've... <laughs> the Bosphorus is locked. <laughs> Are we fighting anybody? Not yet. We're trying to make a faction, but it didn't fire. I don't know what happened. I'm very annoyed, actually. I didn't even get like a, no, they declined. So I have no idea. All I know is we have non-aggression packs, and that's it. Mexico declared war on Ecuador. Ecuador joined the North American Association. Wow, bringing South America into this. Yeah, we have a fantastic relationship with our neighbors, but negative 200. Super fighters. All right, so these fighters are the best we can get without getting full-blown jets. While previous generations of fighter planes were worthy, any advantage gained by a better design should be taken. This aircraft will be the pinnacle platform of piston-engineered or engine fighters with excellent power, high agility, deadly weapons, and good range. The THK P-47. 200 extra kilometers of range, five more air attack, two more air defense, significantly faster. And good naval attack buff too. Max speed 720 kilometers per hour. So we want a carrier version of that. Probably. Only a 69 day research. Yes, weirdly, uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and Romania are doing great. Nicaragua has capitulated. The war between the North American Association and what remains of the Axis continues elsewhere. Good luck. Well, I guess they gotta make Mexico capitulate next. Italy's starting to fall back. They made a little push and now they're gone again. Why do we why are we green now? We're just changing all sorts of colors. 
An operative can be recruited. This did not go well for us last time. Infiltrator effectiveness and risk. Sure. I don't know what to do with you, though. The last dude got caught. Um... I'm not sure. Meanwhile, we now have 24 military factories. If you blink, you would have missed the last eight or so that just got built. We have pumped up production on infantry equipment. We are catching up on our light tank duties, our mechanized duties. I'd like to get a fifth for both of those. We need to switch our fighter to the brand new boy. Look at that retention. We're at 73% after switching that. That's crazy. Um, we're almost caught up on anti-air and artillery finally, and we actually have excess naval bombers. Does that mean that... P.S. Let's go ahead and chill with the naval exercises because we're running out of fuel. Wait until we get to 50 exactly. There we go. Good timing. That way we can go back to restocking fuel. But anyway, what I was going to ask was... Uh, I don't know what I was going to ask. How do I make a dude a crown, chat? Does anyone know the crown tactic to make a, uh, the jewel of your fleet? Mexico has capitulated to the United States of North America. <laughs> the United States of North America. I was going to do something boat-related, chat, and my brain just gave out. Does anybody remember? Oh, besides the crown. Click the ship icon. Ah. It calls a hundo PP? All right, never mind. We'll wait. <laughs> a hundo PP, dude. I was gonna check my fleet for something, but I don't remember what. I'll remember eventually. We're about to do the last curd thing. Finally. Oh, I was gonna check to see if my carrier had carrier bombers. That's what it was. I was curious how it's loadout. How do I get the carrier bombers onto the carrier? Does anybody know? Can I create a new air wing and move them over or something? I heard a noise. Airport sim- Oh, gotcha. Well, it's weird that I can't move the wing. Do I have to dis- Deploying something. 98- Oh, would they do it? Oh, they had to, they had to, like, group all the planes up. They didn't have all the planes together. Now nah, we got it. I moved them over. Okay. I had to wait until they got, like, 100%. Construction 5, chat. We are maxed on construction speed. Our industry is almost at peak! We just have one more excavation to do, and that excavation is going to unlock more resource decisions, potentially. And we got exactly 200 political power. Let's finish the Kurdish integration. The final state. 
highlighted in white there. Is that it? Did we do it? I guess it's working. Still going. I am, yes. I am. I'm still really upset about this faction. I thought we were going to have this awesome Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq faction. And it seems like it either misfired or they all said no quietly. <laughs> I'm not sure which. Maybe both. By the way, don't piss off Romania. They got uh, 114 divisions on the Bulgarian border. <laughs> 114, dude? Come on. All right, maybe some more investments would be nice. Let's do go back to improving relations for a little bit. But I need I need more political power first. How's construction? Uh, we're not getting as many as we had. We still got 31 that we can use, which is nice. And trade-wise, we're 13 steel in the hole, so I might trade for that. Oh wait, this is aluminum. We're doing a lot of trading with Great Britain, so if I ever attack the Axis, it's gonna have a problem. The problem is called no one to trade with. Very sad. Romania quietly building their shit up. No wonder the Soviets and Nazis haven't messed with them. Well, they're also in a uh, alliance with Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Uh, Poland has about 1 million troops. Romania has about 600,000. Lithuania has about 200,000. Latvia fewer. Estonia, not many. Germany has less than a million. I think they're finally faltering. Britain has uh, like 500, 600,000. Free military, I, 27 military factories. I say we need to pump up weapons. It's 24,000 is a lot. It is our states in the east that form the very backbone of our support, and yet the quality of infrastructure in these states compared to the urban provinces in the west is appalling. By supporting the East, we support our followers and also better prepare ourselves for undertaking operations to the East and North. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve free infrastructure in the Eastern states in our realm. And now, enter the Desert Camel Corps. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Why don't we train? We have 156,000 manpower. We know the automobiles we want, but they need equipment. We're working on it. Let's get... Some default reserve troops training. Nothing crazy. Just a couple reserve troops. And let's get three more units that have artillery. And one unit that's got um, anti-air. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six units plus two tank brigades simultaneously. We still have about 110,000 manpower. I'd like to get it even lower than that. How about... Uh, two anti-air. We are close to finishing these cruisers, and then I would like to change pace. But, to do that, I really want some new boat types. So I'm gonna probably change this carrier, or this carrier fighter over into a boat research. So pick your poison, chat. It is 1944. And uh, we can get a tier four anything 
So what do you want? Are, are destroyers are the oldest? So maybe we should just try and get to 1944 destroyers. Um, we could get a 1940 battleship very fast. Only 40 day research. Or we could go for a brand new carrier or just make the 1940 carrier again. I guess let's just make the 1940 carrier again. Could start making some subs. We have a lot of upgrades here that we never did. Depth charge rails. Allow them to attack enemy submarines. Ooh. Hmm. It's gonna take like three years to make a battleship. <laughs> I think it'd be better. I don't know. The problem is it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take three months. I need something that's faster. <sighs> Our destroyers are all from 1936. That's what I'm concerned about. They're a few generations behind. Uh, let's get a new 1944 carrier. Let's go super all in with the carrier. Maybe we'll just spend all three of these on naval, briefly. Because we do have a lot of dockyards. And we're about to open all these up, because I'm going to hold production on these. We do need to retrofit all of our ships. We got 50 naval experience. Here's what I think we should do with that. It's going to suck. But we can plug in tier 2 radar. What we should really do is get just tier 3 radar researched. Just too many things, chat. 1944 and only 3 research slots. That's what happens when you go uh, with chat's pick. But also, I don't think Turkey has many research opportunities. I think they have... Two or three, only. Oh, we're about to get one, actually. We are about to get our fourth one. But, um... They are buried at the bottom. Unless you go Axis. If you go Axis or... Ally. They're a little easier. But yes, we are about to get a fourth research slot finally. We're doing pretty good considering. <laughs> I'm going with Desert Camel Corps first. <laughs> My priorities are in the right place, I think. Okay, these two synthetics are finally almost done. I think another fuel silo would be in order as well. Hey, look at this infrastructure, dude. Everything is like 40, 50, 60% over here. Lovely. I am all about it. Unassigned divisions, I know. I'm kind of just leaving them here. I don't know exactly what I want to do with them. I'm not sure if we should... I mean, they're obviously all massed on the Romanian border, but I really don't expect any trouble from Romania. We're kind of just chilling. So I guess we'll jump into the port defense group. Yeah, it looks like one more slot at the end of the Ottoman focus path, Ionic. Dude, it's 5.30 in the morning! Is Sunday a day off today? Maybe. Very possibly. <laughs> Entirely likely. 
That's okay. 16 hour morning stream for Hearts of Iron incoming. Legionary Romania. Wow, they really are fascist now, huh? They actually may become a problem. They're like 100% fascist. Poland's still just hanging out. Make sure to do plenty of gamer stretches. I probably should do another gamer stretch. Yep, time, baby. How we feeling? We finally got logistics company, so we can plug those in. Um, I want to turn around and focus on some boats. So let's do destroyer hull. I want to get like 1944 destroyers. I want to be like top tier navy. We're waiting on production to catch up anyways. For everything else. Whereas, navally speaking... Ooh, see, we just finished one. Okay, so we're going to turn this into... Is this a made-up name? Or is this someone in chat? I'm pretty sure that's a made-up name. By the way, chat, if you've been here, you guys can leave whenever you want. You don't have to stay up just because I'm streaming. You know that, right? Are you calling me out? If it applies to you, then I'm calling you out. You know? I went to bed for seven hours. You can't tell me what to do. You stream, we stay. I'm not... I'm just... This is... This, listen, anything after 12 hours... We're at hour 13 now. Anything after 12 hours, I take no responsibility for. Okay? It's too late for me. My brain is dead. There's just a, a shell of a human still playing. Maybe just another heavy cruiser. How many heavy cruisers are we at? Listen, when when it goes down, I want to be ready. You know? Where's my navy? We only have two heavy we only have two heavy cruisers? I thought we had three. Oh. This is the third one. Okay, so we'll just make a fourth one. I'm just going to leave two dockyards free until these are done. And then we're going to swap. VOD Watchers in shambles once again. VOD Watchers don't exist, so it's okay. <laughs> VOD Watchers are a myth. Everyone knows they don't exist. What do you guys think is a reasonable quantity of military factories before we start focusing on defense and infrastructure? Should I fill in the rest of Bulgaria's spots? They only have four, five, six, seven, so probably not. I don't think that's enough to annex them. Hey, Desert Camels! Oh, yeah, baby. Desert camels, watch out, chat. What is this going to entail? If we are going to enter these arduous and long-lasting operations in the Middle East and Africa, it'd simply be preposterous to not reform our Camelry Corps. On our camels, we could ride from Cairo to Cape Town in comfort and style. <laughs> is this a joke to you, devs? All right, where is this Camelry Corps <laughs> that I have heard so much about? <laughs> where, Where is it? Huh? What, what does it consist of? <laughs> I 
It's a mobile division. Okay, what's its perk versus a horsey? Defense 34, breakthrough 5, soft attack 13, hard attack 2, HP 30, manpower 1000, infantry equipment 150. Adjusters. Bad in forests, bad in hills, bad in mountains, good in desert, good in marsh. That's it. Good in plains. Alright, chat. 34, 5, 13, 2. Wait, can I just compare these side by side? Why do the horses have better stats? And lower construction costs. The horses have more defense, more breakthrough, more soft attack, and are cheaper. You're doing all this for a... A desert movement of 1.6% movement bonus and 0.8% attack? Why is this even a research? Am I missing something huge? Literally just a meme. How do I refund the key I got for free for this game, hmm? <sighs> I thought that was gonna be at least better than horses. Okay, but seriously, if you're gonna make desert camel core into a meme, you can't give them more than a 1% desert bonus? At least make them really actually good in the desert. That's the only thing I'm disappointed by. It's okay if it's a meme, but like no tangible benefit whatsoever, even in the Middle East. That's a battalion stat, the modifier stack on the division. What? What are you telling me to look at? Oh, you're telling me that more camels... Okay, but still, it's only 0.8% movement per unit. Point four percent per unit. So let's say for just giggles that we had exclusively camels in here. How let's do it. Let's just see. How good are they actually <laughs> How good are they actually? We get twenty combat with camels, okay? There you go. Twenty combat with. What do we got? Five percent desert. 5% defense attack, 10% movement. That's it. For a unique unit that's all the way down the entire tree. That should be, like, way up there. <laughs> Anyways, let's not cry over spilled milk. Ours is not a national movement. We do not simply stand for the authority of the Sultan but for the authority of Muslims around the world. We do not abide by nationalism because we believe in the international cause of Islam. We shall cooperate with religious leaders from all across the world to determine how best we can spread and liberate our religious flock by the sword. Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq become puppets. Does that assume they're in my faction? We have to get the Damascus Dikta first. All right, we gotta save because we're about to piss off Big Mama Britain. Big Daddy Britain threats.
Just make sure every battle happens in the desert. It's the only way. I'll probably still make some, but I'll not... Uh, here's the thing, it's too much army experience for me to even do the meme. I don't have enough army XP to, like, even form the faction or function. I'm trying, they're all training. Um, they're doing the best they can. That's what's wasting all over this equipment, is this constant army training. Oh, cruiser's done. Okay, another 1940 Feather Cruiser is in the books. We've got six light cruisers now. I guess it wouldn't be a big deal if we did another one. But uh, we don't need to. We certainly aren't going to need... Well, how much steel do we have? We could just go all in on heavy cruisers. We do have pretty good tier 3 heavies. With no radar or sonar. Which we're not even researching, so I guess just go for it. Oh, it's very unfortunate. Is there an icon that shows you when something can be upgraded? Oops. Or do you have to click on each thing to see if it has a potential upgrade? Either way, that's fine. Let's save that design. Chat, some of your names are gone. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I, uh... I don't know where the rest of your names are or if we use them all. This is the list currently. Eat house streams when you sleep and when you awake. Yes, I'm getting bad gamer posture. Okay, um, here's what we'll do. So the TRN Auxilia is coming out. We need... The Ottoman Empire rises. The name keeps changing, so we keep having to change. <laughs> okay, so the Miss Isabel comes next. Ottoman Empire. The OE Miss Isabel. Okay. Followed by the Falcon of Lordran. Somebody just skipped in line. The Pez Excalibur. Okay, you're gonna go on this one. Okay, then we have uh, Tiarin Han. Wait, it'd be OE. Okay. Then Lance held high. OE Lance held high. There we go. So we're just doing three heavy cruisers, which we don't have enough steel for. But what we do have is two factories to trade. And uh, we also have 110... Chat, what happened to integrating the Kurdish state? I think this one takes more than one. It seems like that didn't work, so we do need... Maybe there's a fifth one. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Control all the Iraqi states. Oh. We have a non-aggression pact with them. They're gonna become puppets. We don't have any war goals against them. Oh. All you have to do is justify war goals. But they're our friends! We have non-aggression packs. They're supposed to be in our faction. I don't understand why they're not. 
I think you can peacefully annex them through puppeting them. That's what we're gonna try and do. Yes, that is exactly what we're gonna try and do. Uh, I'm gonna trade for some more steel. Since we're negative 50 in the hole, we've got uh, two spare factories to play with, so I could, that's worth 16. There we go, down to negative 34. Uh, Ultimate Greed is constructing three cruisers at the same time. Realistically, we need the other stuff more, so we're going to put the, the third cruiser at the very bottom so the other ones can drink from the well, even if this one doesn't really get built. That's fine. We need this other stuff more. Actually, we don't need these naval bombers. Um... Uh, We do need these to become carrier fighters, though. Yep, still streaming. Uh, what? There's so many things we're producing now, it's hard to keep track of them all. Which is a good problem to have, don't get me wrong. We're basically just amassing military factories. And if we amass military factories, we also need resources in turn, but we might have finally peaked on how much steel we can reasonably produce ourselves. The only thing we can do is look into construction and check to see if there's any places that we have an improved infrastructure in that also generate steel. See, like both of these we've already maxed. Hey, there is a spot. So if we max that, that's 17 steel right there. So fix that infrastructure, chat. And then we got oil down here. We can get some oil by improving infrastructure there. Why not? Okay, looks good. And then since we obviously need this, um, I might just pump these up the list. Excavation 5. This is how we're going to get more resources. That's 10% across the board. A greater yield of ore at extraction sites. The only other thing we could do is final tier of oil processing, but instead of that... Mm, let's start improving our naval vessels. I want some depth charges. We're going all navy here. Hey, what's up? Good morning, Professor Shippost. Alex streaming during evening snack time. Basically. I don't know when a good ending point is. I kind of just need something big to happen and be like... Like, nothing has happened yet that's like, Whoa! That's a problem for future me! Everything's been going too well. You know? Like, we're kind of just accomplishing our goals and moving right along. Slowly. And I'm enjoying watching everyone else duke it out, like the United States. who is currently winning the American-German War. If you were curious, 1.8 million Americans have perished, but um, 3 million Axis have been killed by them. Yes, the Axis now includes Great Britain, Mexico, Peru, Venezuela, Canada, New Zealand, and more. Japan versus the Soviet Union is really not going well for Japan. America is not fighting Japan in this in this timeline. Great Britain, we would never. 
All right, my cookies are gone, chat. What we have on the left compared to what we just researched on the right. I'm honestly not sure why it's better, but I'm told that it is. These allow carriers to transport planes more effectively. More planes more efficiently. Okay, so maybe just more planes more better. We got 45 Navy XP. We need more. So let's go back out there and get some XP's. Time to train. And while that's happening, let's think about what we want to research. Mount a sonar module on light ships and cruisers to detect enemy subs. Is this in addition to sonar? Or in a, a, is this a bonus from radar? Can I have radar and sonar on the same vessel? More. Good morning, Nomek. How you doing, dude? I wish I could tell you that we're doing uh, something extremely interesting here. But I'm kind of just making the number go up, and I'm having a really great time doing it. We just got two more reserve troops. I would like enough reserve troops. So the point of our reserve troops is we're stationing them on ports that are on the Black Sea, which are unlikely to be invaded because we control the Bosporus. Pretty good. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I can feel my voice getting a little tired, but I'm actually fine. I usually stay up this late anyways. I normally don't go to bed till after six. And I've been eating and slash snacking the entire stream, basically. Probably could use some more water. That'd be nice. Stay hydrated. But yeah, I would like two reserve troops on each one. So maybe we'll just let a couple more train. Uh, Let's cap it, though. So we want only one more to train. These are the rainbow reserve troops. Hopefully they don't ever see a rain cloud. Just the rainbow. Big boom. You guys can go here. Bird watchers here. We're about to have five more uh, units come out. These are going to be ar toting artillery, and these ones have anti-aircraft. And then these ones have tanks and um, special vehicles, which we are currently producing here. So we got nice light tanks, making three per day, and we're making two and a half mechanized per day. So we're a little behind on mechanized. So I'd like to increase that if I can. Ooh, wait. That's a lie. Don't lie to me. Do we actually have the correct number? I don't think so. I need to unpause. I forgot I wasn't unpaused. Oops. May as well go for 13 hours. What have you been playing recently, Nomek? Some Among Us. Good old Among Us. I found the imposter in my chat. Chat regulars who are still awake right now, you know what to do. Or who just woke up? Get him. I don't think my planes... They say they're doing pilot exercises, but we're getting so little XP that I kind of just want to stop. Chat, we actually have an Air Force. Can you believe this? What is... What? We have 270 Tier 2 fighters. <gasps> we have an actual Air Force. We only have 38 of the, f the new fancy ones, but we're getting there. That's actually not a bad Air Force. I'm sure it's nothing compared to you. <laughs> they have like 7,000 airplanes. 
Oh my god. Well, maybe it's not as good as I thought. I'm trying, okay? I'm sorry. I want to do better. <sighs> I'll do what I can. We're still making uh, factories. We're making infrastructure. We're trying to make up the difference in resources. I can't... I can't win them all. Oh, do we finish... Uh... Oh, we're just doing the cruisers. But we need to start the... Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta start the big boy. We just got the new carrier. I don't think we can afford this. Oh, that's neat. It already comes decked out with some things. Based on previous designs, maybe? We got hangar space. Hangar space. Anti-air, tier 3, uh, radar 2, I guess. I guess we can go for the larger engine? I don't know if it matters. I think the engine we've got is fine. Secondary battery 2, just keep it. I thought it said it had more room for more planes. Was that a lie? No. I guess not. We could ditch the secondary battery and go for 80 planes. I think that's a little greedy because our first carrier only carries 40. But we probably don't need two secondaries. We've got a lot of strong uh, boats that should support this, this carrier. So I do think three, let's do, let's go 60, uh, 60 hangar space with two deck armor. We don't want this thing to sink. Double deck armor is 50 extra HP, uh, from 350. And also f 10 armor. What do you say, chat? I am innocent. A likely story. All right, this is our 1944. What did we name the other carrier? Did we just call it Carrier Hole? I thought we named it something. Oh, the Cookie Crisp. Of course. It's a 1944 cookie crisp model. Are you sure you want to switch production on this? Yeah, it's not even there. Chad, this is going to take 45 steel. <laughs> oh, we don't have enough steel for all this. This is very greedy. All right, I'm sorry that the Falcon Lordran, Falcon of Lordran, you get priority because you came before the OE Miss Isabel, I think. So Miss Isabel, you're getting delayed. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. We have a lot of steel that we need. I gotta move you to the bottom because we're just broke. We did get one more factory. So I'm gonna trade Great Britain. Eight factories for some more steel, please. Thank you. So our steel makes it all the way down to anti-air before it gets short-stopped. We have zero available steel for that final cruiser. I'll see you in 1946 when the cookie crisp is done, okay? In a year and a half. We might just leave this on permanently and just make, like, four cruisers. I mean, four, uh, carriers. Bourbon France is weak. All we need to do is threaten the possibility of war if they do not surrender Syria, and they'll fall to their knees crying for peace and begging us to take Syria off their hands. Chat, this is not good. Because not only are we not dealing with Bourbon France, we're dealing with Great Britain, who is actually an Axis superpower. 
So, uh, we're not really threatening weakling France as, like, the game wants us to think. We're actually threatening the Axis. And it's just part of the event. So I'm curious if they'll just yield Syria. Because this is British Syria down here. However, we've been denied. The fools in Great Britain rejected our perfectly reasonable demand that our former territory be returned back to its rightful owner. This leaves us with only one course of action, war. Gain claims and a conquer focus on... <laughs> Gain conquer focus against Great Britain. That is not the anticipated result of this, I think. Just conquer Great Britain, bro. What are you, a baby? Call in Bulgaria and get them, dude. They only have 12,000 airplanes and 15 task forces with five separate fleets. To be fair, though, their army is not very strong, but they're also part of the Axis, so... How many people do we have? What's our total... What's our total used manpower? Dude, chat, hang on. Do we have 800,000 foot soldiers? Seriously? That's not bad. What's Bulgaria at? 347,000? We've been churning out some uh, foot soldiers and I just, I just didn't realize it. Maybe it's time to stop doing ex uh, army XP soon. So that we can actually get our, you know, people together. Hmm. Here's what I think we do. I think we wait a little longer on the German-Italian-American-German war. And once America starts actually, like, really winning, if Italy starts really winning too, then we go ahead and go like, yes! Conquer Great Britain, and then go, you know, opportunistic. Now it's time for the Pan-National Association of Ulimas. It's time to maybe puppet Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq for the international cause of Islam. What you guys didn't know is I'm actually playing Crusader Kings right now, and uh, we're doing a Muslim crusade. We're gonna do our own jihad in World War II, because honestly, these guys all suck anyways. Even Romania is fascist, okay? Even Romania. The Ottoman Empire will reign supreme. Insane streamer plays CK3 for 13 hours until 1944. <laughs> you mean, uh, Hearts of Iron, but yes. Nineteen-forty destroy your hole? No. Give me a nineteen forty-four destroy your hole. Then come back and talk to me. Yep, still streaming. Hey, smile for fun. Good morning. Thank you for the four hundred bits. And we had a nice raid from Tutti Kiri earlier too. If you're still out there from Tutti Kiri stream, thanks for hanging out. Sorry you're not catching me at my best. We are no longer being influenced by fascists. Oh, that's neat. We got two more extra factories. I don't know where we're getting them from. Trade, apparently. I only own 20 because I'm trading so many more away. And we're still so low on steel. That I'm just going to keep trading. I kind of like that um, trades are not locked in. If you want to cancel the trade and get your factories back at any time, you can. Which is a fun way to do it. So it's not like... I like that it's not a turn. So, like, right now I'm doing 15 and 15. And if I am not satisfied, then I can just be like, eh, I'd rather have them back. Because we're currently trading, for reference, I own, own 18, but I'm actually sending 10 to Great Britain 
And actually, yeah, 11 civilian factories are currently just being used in trade. Last Kurds? I swear we've already done this. Let me save again. Kurds? Finally home? Question mark? Let's see. You're just an egotistical streamer. Okay, then. Tell me how you really feel. According to this... According to this chat, they are not resisting. They are fully integrated. And are providing us with almost 100,000 manpower. Smile for fun, sharing the Tier 3 morning sub. Early morning, 6 a.m. Tier 3 sub. Thanks a bunch. That's very nice of you. Is this bugged? That looks like a lie. Yes. Is there supposed to be an... There probably should be a Kurdish state event. Um... I guess we could increase the presence of fundamentalists. Add modifier devout traditionalists. Increase influence. I don't know. These states remain unaligned. Sure. I don't know what the bonus is here. We'll just spend a hundred on that and try to bring everyone on the same page. And then... Should we get that, um, petrol person so we can get a bunch of oil? I have to get rid of the Turkish debt. Region-wide industrial integration. Add one building slot to Izmit. Is that it? What if we just cozied up to Poland again and asked them to invest in us? Let's try that. Okay. Let's go with that one. I'm not really sure how to get rid of the national debt modifier. Like, I don't know how to get rid of this. But it's very annoying. I have no idea. It seems like it's directly tied to the economic policy. And you just have to tank this. But, uh, that's all I know. It seems like you can also get someone to invest in you enough that it shirks the debt. I have no idea. Because it seems like it's tied to this. TPDA, TPDA. Luckily, swaying people's pretty easy, so it won't take long for their opinion to become pretty good. In the meantime, we're just going to continue constructing both infrastructure for more resources and acquire additional... We are in full swing. 30 military factories, chat. 30 military factories. Our carrier fighters are being upgraded. We're going to need, obviously, more with another carrier coming out. We are slowly catching up to what we need. This is the first time I subbed Tier 3. I have to say, it was well worth it. <laughs> oh, we got another one. Absolutely ripped off. Got him again. Depth charge thrower. We definitely should be anti-submarine at this point. And we have 150% bonus on this anyways. Spend, uh... Ooh, no, you can spend 50 to gain that bonus. We don't have that much experience, but that would be pretty sick. 
Emriniz yok mu? We got four unassigned divisions. Continue to reinforce the ports, my friends. And we got 62 Navy experience. What I'd like to do is actually just go retrofit all of our ships and have them just all get upgraded simultaneously. We should get radar next. We'll have that opportunity. We're, we'll, we're already getting passive sonar. So why don't we just get passive sonar next, like tier two. How we doing, America? You guys still at war? Yeah, where are you fighting? They pretty much got Central America locked. Oh, they're at war with Peru and Venezuela. Because they... Ecuador is part of their faction. I don't think they've even touched... Well, they've got the Philippines, of course. But I don't think they've even touched the Emu Empire. I mean, who would dare touch the Emu Empire? When did you get the mod upgrade today, but now all the bad people are gone? Never underestimate them, Liuda. Also, you can leave whenever you want. I'm just gonna see who can stay on the stream longer. Me or Liuda, okay? Whoever loses has to buy the other person a foot-long sup. Stop trying to make me leave. I don't like it when mods are here watching me and judging my stream. So, if you don't mind... If you could please just turn around or look away... It feels really awkward. You know? <laughs> A basic set of hydrophones allows tracking of underwater targets through detecting the sound they make. Mount this in an electric slot on light ships or cruisers. Are you guys sure I can have sonar and radar? Probably not, but I don't know. We're just gonna get... Sonar 2, the sequel. Detecting subs seems very important. As you might imagine. Subway sounds good. Dude, a sub does sound good. It's actually so early, I could probably... Oh! Chad, should I order uh, Uber Eats McDonald's breakfast right now? <laughs> hey, I can't wait to ruin my sleep schedule today. Oh, he ruined his sleep schedule! Good job! Ours is not a movement. Ours is not a national movement. We are... <gasps> Ooh, did it work? Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq become puppets of the Ottoman Empire. We... <gasps> no! I can't get the other research slot because... You idiots! I'm not in a faction with the German Reich. And I'm not in a faction with Hungary. Because Hungary is in a faction with Italy. <sighs> Has completed focus. Unaligned support has to be high enough. They get decisions to join the central powers. We're not the central power though, right? Hungary's supposed to be getting daily support. Hungary's gone, dude! It got eaten by the German Reich. Mean developers made it so I'll never have a fourth research slot in this run. Because I have to- they want me to become a fascist and join Germany. And fight America. Which just sounds like a- and also, I guess, the Soviets. It's a bad proposition when we share a border with the Soviets. Well, that feels bad. Also, you want to know what feels really bad? To get refining our strategies, you need both of these. <laughs> and we can only get uh, Imperial Factories. Which seems kind of lame. Because it's only two f military factory building slots, which to us now is not really anything. But I'm still going to take it. The Ottoman focus se seems like it's designed expecting World War II not to start until 1945. You've pretty much hit the nail on the head. 
Like, I understand I took some time to focus on the military for a little bit, but I think without that, we still would have finished this in 19... Uh, f like, I would say maybe January 1943 at earliest. Maybe end of 1942. But even by then, Hungary was gone. Uh, that wasn't an option. Greece gets declared upon in, like, 1939. So reclaiming Thrace and Central Macedonia, like, doesn't exist by the time you can get to this point. The only thing I can do is just go to war against Germany to get it. Chat. I'm a little worried. called <laughs> dude i think uh i think it's broke the people's republic of china declared war on tibet i think i got scammed out of an entire campaign literally the whole purpose of my focus tree was to reform the ottoman empire and uh, uh it, of that we were supposed to have puppeted Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran, none of which have actually fired. Save and restart game? We already did that once. Why would that retroactively do anything? Don't know. Okay, well, I was about to do it. Um, but I'm not going to, because I don't think it'll do anything. Yeah, I would have to say that if I could do it again, um, I would probably have tried to prioritize Balkan integrity instead. I think the other downside of of our tree is that there's I, th I feel like I'm did I just run run out of options? Well, I guess we can do these two, but is there anything to do? It almost it seems like this is what they want you to do. Cause look how much deeper that goes. The other downside was camels. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, the reform of the Ottoman has not been as cool or exciting as I thought. But that's because my research slot is locked. Unless I join the German Reich. Hungary doesn't exist, so I can't form a faction with them. So I have to be a fascist. Um, second one is... Since I can't do that, I can't do the final refining our strategies. Third is the camels are a funny meme, but actually totally useless. Fourth is Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran do not actually get invites to join my faction, and therefore I'm not puppeting them, so that's five. The only thing that worked was Bulgaria got puppeted for free. And we have claims. I guess. That's pretty much it. So everything else failed. I think there were five failures. 
and one success. And the Kurdish uh, reintegration event did not fire. So that's six. Unless there's not one. But there are no more Kurdish states. So that's at least six bugs slash disappointing things with uh, the tree that chat. You picked this chat. I'm just messing with you. Be you did. But also it's not your fault. Not your fault. Can you make a new faction now? I'm already in a faction. But... I can't uh, invite Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan myself because they take issue with me being non-aligned even though they're also non-aligned. Ditto for Iran. Ditto for Afghanistan. So, I don't know, dude. The only thing I can do is actually just go to war with them. Which I guess is what we're gonna do. Which was not the plan. So, here's the plan N now, chat. So, we have to justify war goals, yes? Justifying a war goal is not declaring war, correct? Uh, how do you break a non-aggression pact? Does anything bad happen? I guess we can just wait until after we're ready to go. Well, all the people who said just invade Iraq, here you go, all right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do, all right? <laughs> Wasn't my first option, but I can still do it. So I guess we're just gonna make it happen the way it's not supposed to. We're gonna shoehorn the Ottoman Empire together. It was supposed to go differently, dude. They were all going to be friends, we were going to join the faction, we were going to puppet them and annex them. Alright, well, here's the deal. We're going to take... We're going to kind of reverse these two. So, we're gonna have these 34. Um... 34, these are, these are primary forces. And we got even more here that we can... <gasps> Hello, tanks! Look how beautiful my tanks are! Okay, those guys go in there. These guys go in the big group. And the big group is gonna have... New orders. That's fine. New front line. And we're also going to create an offensive line plan that just looks like this. Hey, if you're... Iraq in this situation. What do you think when you see this? Oh, we also need to stop exercising. That's a great idea. Is anyone else exercising? Just these guys? <laughs> peaceful Hearts of Iron 4 is bugged. <laughs> you have tried the peaceful way. <laughs> Paradox knew you would try this and failed it on purpose to force you to fight. <laughs> it's okay, we have a non-aggression pact. It's just a drill. So this is like that other game with maps where you started in Russia with more focused on war and less people and relatives. Uh, yeah, it's Crusader Kings is more of an RPG. This is more of a war simulator. It's a little bit more hands-on micromanagey with the actual 
units than Crusader Kings is. Less about the character and more about kind of... I would say Hearts of Iron is more min-maxi with more of a focus on metagaming. And the metagaming would be... You can't really RP this game. You just have to know how World War II goes or has the potential to go and work around that. So, like, it's... Let, let's say you're playing historical focus and you know what happens to Poland at the beginning of World War II, but you choose to play as Poland. Well, you can have the advanced knowledge that you're going to get invaded and do everything in your power to kind of cheat with your foreknowledge to, like, arm up properly to try and stop that from happening. So you, you like... This game is like a time traveler trying to save one region of the world or make them dominate. It's a little bit of a, a different mindset that you take. Your purple army's at 37 over 24. You're right. How did that happen? He was at 72. What's the difference between 72 and 30? Like, why did he go from 72 to 37? But you are right. Okay, we have high-tech sonar now. And I'd like to turn my attention back since it is 1944. And focus on some things that we have been neglecting for a while. Like, since it's clear that we're not ever going to get that fourth research slot, let's go ahead and get advanced computing, which is just a big research buff. When garrisoning, a general can command three times as many units as when he's attacking. I gotcha. Okay, that's fine. We can just make um, two, ar two different armies and just stack them on top of each other. He's also not the best at attacking anyways. What I'll probably do is just grab um, the person who is defending the British border. There's really not that many troops on the British border, so I'm not going to be overly concerned with abandoning it temporarily. Um, these are all my old troops, though. <sighs> Maybe we should just make a, a new squadron. <laughs> Let's just make a new squadron and split these. We're not going to need more than 37 regiments, surely. Okay, let's just create a new army with um, half of these guys. Let's just take like a few. So these are an lightning bolts or anti-air. The explosions are my artillery units. And the helmets are just regular foot soldiers. So I'm just kind of trying to take like a, a balance there, and then I can click create a new army, and you can see all of my generals. I don't think they're all under him though, so we need to put them under the field marshal. Uh, we got a nice level 4 attacker here with a nice hat. Brilliant strategist, war hero, you're the guy. And then here's my field marshal. He's not very good either. <laughs> He's also not very good as it happens. Oops. Well, should I prom like what's the best play? Why don't we just just let it go? He's got a lot of traits. Max entrenchment, 30%. That's pretty good. Desert movement, attack and defense. All right, we'll give you a chance, buddy. We'll give you a chance. So now that we split these up, we still need to get a, rid of a few more people because we've got uh, tank units. Chat, we got uh, some light tank units here. Who was the new guy that I just hired? Was it this dude? No, I just screwed that up. Ah! Who's the new guy? I'm already confused. This guy. 
put you guys next to each other. You both have the hat. Okay, he needs to get rid of one more unit. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna give them both the same front line. Wait, do we need- wait, we don't need two front lines. Can you just assign them to the same front line? This is a learning process. How do you assign them to this front line? Control right- control left click. After the unit assignment, Army 5 will be disbanded. What? Chad, does anybody know what we're doing? Does anybody know how to get two different armies onto one offensive line? You have more units at the border than you can supply anyway. I mean, does 0.9% attrition really matter? It's trying to reassign everyone. Just do two. I don't know, dude. All the people who know what's going on are asleep. I guess we could do a joint war. We could probably just go to war with Iraq and Iran at the same time, but that would be very greedy. Would it, though? Probably. I'd probably rather take Iraq, then go the whole border of Iran, and then do a full push. No, I don't want to select the field marshal because I don't want the other five guys to join the field marshal. I just want these two only. Okay, 1% attrition. So how long do they take to do the planning? How do you see, um... How do you see how far along the plan is? They almost at max organization. They're almost at max fighting strength. And they're at 39% plan preparation. What's the uh, maximum there? 2.4% per day. Ooh, 1944 destroyer hole. Okay, it's time to start making destroyers again. As soon as we get the depth charge thrower in like one day. There you are. That's not what I thought you were. That's what I thought you were. Okay. Woo. Two extra military factories in Castamonu. The Kamalas had this interesting idea called Italicism. And while we would never openly sponsor a Kamalist ideological pillar, we can't help but feel like it might be expedient to centrally organize and control the state's means of production. Do not draw comparisons to communism or fascism. The factories will all belong to the Sultan. We'll just administer these factories on his behalf. Max is 39%? Okay, cool. So I can't do this, and I can't do this, chat. So... I don't know if there's anything I can do. Do you see any shiny options? I'm pretty sure I'm locked out now. Well, we got this. I guess we got fortified and this one. That's it. Which is weird. It feels like there should be more. Alright, research-wise. We got two open spots. We just leaned really hard into boats. Maybe go 1944 naval bombers. I'd like to get some strategic bombers, but we have no perks to increase our research speed of that. Maybe we'll just focus on Navy alone then. 
Okay, 60 day. That's that's 150% uh, bonus speed anyways. And then back to infantry. I think... Let's start improving our foot soldiers. Infantry defense and breakthrough helps everybody all the way up through mechanized. And it's just good. We also need to go back to doctrine research. But man, only having three sucks. Okay, have we justified war goals? How do we see... How long that's taking? Finishes the 15th of April, 1945? Well, why don't we just start on uh, Iran as well? Select one to five states. Wow, we can only conquer five states. I can't believe the game did this to me, chat. So we can only do five at a time against Iran. Because we weren't able to invite them to our faction and puppet them. I guess we could leave uh, Kuzistan down there and just go for Tehran. You only need one of them to declare war. But are we not choosing... We're, we're choosing states to conquer. So whatever we choose, you can declare war all day long, but you don't get to keep th the whole territory unless you make a war goal for it. That's why it says conquer Tabriz... Gilan, Kurdistan, Hamadan, and Tehran at the top. Not conquer Iran. Wait, I woke up and the talk's still online. Not for long if I have to keep reading comments <laughs> about people in disbelief. Chad, have I ever streamed 14 hours before? Um, hello again. What's up, Shocker? How are you? Here you can take more than your war goal. Okay. But, do you- are you saying I can take all of Iran with only one state as a war goal? What does it cost, chat? Because I don't trust you. What is the cost? It can't be free. It's a paradox game. War score? Well, here's the thing. Since we've already done this on, um, Iraq... And we still have to- since we've already done that and I have to wait till 1945, then we should at least do enough because we're not going to declare war on them before we declare war on Iraq. Unless you want me to cancel justification on this as well, but then we waste all that, that PP, and we're already 24% done. And we can continue building up anyways. So let's just do enough war goals. Okay, let's just do one for 185 days. Actually, let's just do two. Because we're not going to... We're going to have to f fight all of Iraq first. 45 political power. Bye. There you go, chat. Now we're just justifying with only two. Better? Ooh, we have 35 military factories. Wow. We need to we need to take a little look see here. Also, if we're gonna have to wait that long, we need to get our get troops him, off of this border. Abdul Majid II angered by Iranian posturing. Those naive citizens of the Ottoman Empire who imagined the Iranian as a people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Those who live at our border do not have the luxury of such delusions. Seeing their troops closing in on us just across it, this is a threat we cannot leave unanswered. With every passing day, Iran is preparing for war. It would be madness for us not to do the same. Aren't we the ones preparing for war? The Iranian military presence close to our territory sparked increased concern this nation appears more and more to be the enemy. Whether it is the cause or the effect of their polemic, 
is a matter of contention. He's angered. I'm angered by Iranian posturing. Let's let's mount up at their border. Let's let's cancel a couple of these. Emeliness. There we go. Take my 13 <laughs> troops and go over there. That way we can probably supply those troops better and we're not going to take attrition. Hopefully. How do I supply these troops, chat? Do we need just better infrastructure over here? We're good now, it looks like. Was it just too many people in the same state? Wow, we are almost done um, with these constructions as well. We've got okay infrastructure. Why don't we just try and do five out of ten everywhere? Although we may be a peaceful people, our nature alone does not determine the course we must take in history. This is a time of war. For too long, the Iraqi have possessed the means that we need to make it through the trials we may face, and it's apparent they will not part with them peacefully. Despite our best efforts to build a modern state, some matters can only be settled through the old trials of battle, especially when the game bugs. Abdul Majid II's hostile rhetoric towards Iraq has done a great length to justify invasion. Some portion of the population support this course, but the decision lies in the lands of our leader. Calls for war against Iraq. It's part of the justification. Okay. Let's pause for a sec. Are we making anything here that we don't need or that we need to replace? No. Tanks. Are we making the good tank? Yes. Planes. Are we making the good planes? We've got a carrier fighter tier 3, and we got 90 of them in storage. So why don't we just change that over to regular tier 3 fighter. Instead of the carrier versions, because that one has more range. And then we got naval bomber 2. And we got 40 of those in storage. So we're going to change this guy over from the carrier version, no boat version, just the regular one. I don't know how many naval bombers we need. Wow, imagine using Keck W oceans. I don't have to imagine, because I would never. Improved artillery, yes. We need like a bunch more of these. Let's uh, increase production. We got a long way to go, dude. We are short on steel now, big time. Big time. We're also short on factories. Where did two of my factories go? At italics, it's 11 seconds. What, Liuda? Okay. Let's take a pause for just a moment. Liuda made this. What a stupid idea! Who wants to play Hearts of Iron? At 3 in the morning! Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> What a stupid idea! 
Who wants to play hearts of iron? At three in the morning. Me, I oh, knew. Oh, Actually, it's six forty. <laughs> if you must know, six forty. Thank you, Liuda. <laughs> Thank you for that. Mid end stream meme. If you just woke up, you are here for the least interesting and least energized portion of the stream. This is the part where I just slack jaw play Hearts of Iron. Anytime after 12 hours, I'm gone. You know you can stop streaming anytime. No. If I stop streaming, then I have to stop playing the game. Okay. The only way that I can keep playing my campaign because I know that I'm not playing later today, because it's 6.40. So I know that I'm not playing this today, and I know I gotta play a different game, because otherwise I'm gonna burn myself and everybody else out. So I'm trying to figure out when the- I was hoping that I would just lose already, or that we would have already, you know, something significant would have happened that meant, oh well, that was fun! Good job, everybody, playing Hearts of Iron! I guess we're done now! Like, this was supposed to be the this was supposed to be it especially 14 hours i didn't think we were gonna make it this far tibet has announced its total surrender to Xinjiang. their forces along with a number of independent tibetan communist supporters have forced jamfel yesh gyalston uh, and his government into exile and someone else has been established to rule Tibet in cooperation. White peace. Chat. Japan has been biding their time. Great Britain declared war on India. Oh. Why though? But why? They have a million true. <laughs> they have 900,000 soldiers. And you guys are still locked into war uh, with the Soviet Union, need I remind you? Who's America at war with? Uh, everyone except Britain? Wait, no, they are. Where's. Oh, they're in a defensive war against America. Yeah, they're at war with literally everyone. India coming in hot. That's gonna actually mess them up. Because how is Great Britain going to extend their reach all the way to Malaysia? They're not going to. In Vietnam. Man, this is a weird world. It really is, yeah. Well, we're just gonna continue just existing here for a while. We just need more resources, chat. I think it's finally time to turn trading down. But we're gonna lose a lot of civilian, um... We're gonna lose a lot of civilian- let's, let's just see how bad it's gonna be. <sighs> Trade... Trade exports going down. I think it's finally time. So, what's going on right now is we are export-focused, which means we're sending 50% of every resource that we harvest to market. Right now, that includes uh, 48 oil, which could be higher, uh, 8 rubber, which isn't much, but we're still short on rubber, 312 steel, and 468 chromium, which we're not using. Though, at this point, I am tempted to just research heavy tanks and meme the chromium. So chat, tanks and what use chromium? What else? Because I might just start researching it for fun. Chat's help gave the game an unnaturally long life, yes. But anyways, the problem when we lose this is when you send goods to market to trade with, people buy our steel and give us um, lots of 
civilian factory. So I'm really scared to change it because we're gonna lose like 10, we're gonna lose like 13 civilian factories immediately. Poof, gone, snap. So I just don't know how I can afford to do it. I think the only way is just build more civilian factories and trade with them. Alternatively, if there's a decision we can make to drill for oil, that's not good enough. I need more steel and I'm out. Oh, what happened to Poland? Great Britain declared war on Pakistan too? Poland likes us. Okay, let's, let's try and invest in Poland again. Or get Poland to invest in us, rather. Alter the royal laws of succession. A new sultanate provides a grand opportunity to reform our antiquated succession. We'll enact the policy of agnatic cognatic primogeniture so that only direct descendants of the sultan may inherit. Wow, this is Crusader Kings. Dude, the fascist party is growing, chat. We must crack down on fascist elements in our nation for the sake of long-term domestic stability. Their influence is too great and may potentially become a problem in the government. Yes. So we lose stability in the short term. Pakistan joined India. This is the sub sound. Germany's, I think Germany's fascist hold is gone. I think that's just the leftovers, but we'll start chasing it out. Say that again. Pakistan joined India. That's what it said, dude. That is what it said. All right, we got Naval Bomber 3. Um, But if we want to put them on the boats, we need to get the power up that lets them be naval um, or carrier ready. 25% more naval attack, better targeting, faster, more defense, better against other planes. It's really got it all. Mind-blowing. Are you going for a record? War of the Worlds, I'm not even close. Bangladesh, Bangladesh has joined the North American Association. <laughs> Joining Burma. <laughs> They call me Kelvin. Thank you for 33 months. How's it going? Thank you for your sub. Much appreciated. Evanito, why are you still awake? I think the entire nation of Pakistan would rather cease to exist and ally with India in real history. You say that, but real history doesn't have um, the Axis nation of Great Britain declaring war on India while they themselves are embroiled in war against the Soviet Union and the United States. So I think they're just like, wow, these guys are really crazy. This psychos, dude. We gotta do whatever we can. Uh, the Treaty of Toronto, German Reich, Great Britain, Soviet Union took states, Croatia, Hungary, Italy, and Finland are dead. The Kingdom of Italy is a puppet! The Italian front is over. Italy has fallen. And now... Now, it's still the Axis versus the Soviet Union. 3.38 million Soviets are dead. 3.6 million Japanese. And German Reich has lost 1.6 mil there too. And then Bangladesh. The United States is still fighting the Axis as part of the German-Soviet War somehow. This is really for all the marbles. 
<laughs> oh, good job. Two times research bonus for radar. Gain emergency deployment of defensive bases, which gives us two years of building up air bases, forts, coastal forts, uh, anti-air and radar stations. This is the last one. Base war support. And we finally remove disorganized armed forces, which is a really big debuff, to be fair. It's coordination, air accidents, division organization, and speed debuffs. That's the last one we can do. And there really aren't any more that I can even research. But then we get extra political power, so that's kind of good. At least we have a lot of decisions we can make. All right, are we done with, uh, I, I want to do the, uh, war. That's my thing. That's my new goal. Do the war, assimilate Iraq, maybe Iran next time. We question Iran's sovereignty. Who determines the borders of a nation and how are they determined? Whatever way people may have found in the past to justify where Ottoman Empire ends and Iran begins, we live in a new era. The strategic importance of this border cannot be overstated, and we are well within our rights to shift it to ensure the continued security of our people. Listening to our leader's recent speeches, an invasion of Iran appears imminent. Dissenting voices have object ad objected, but public support is on the rise. Meanwhile... Chad, I forgot to check the boats. Did we make another carrier, or has that come out yet? Oh, speaking of, we need to stop using up all of our fuel. We have 137 naval experience. Oops. That's quite a lot. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and dock down here. No reason in particular. I'm not like... You know, moving over to the Mediterranean for any reason. Don't look too far into it, okay, Britain? I know that you have a cooler, meaner fleet than me. Um, no, we don't have another carrier already. That would be crazy. Chat, we can't name a carrier after Lance held high. <laughs> no, in personal... Okay, fine. You can have it. Lance held high. This is our 1944 cookie crisp. After all. Oh, we actually are getting a decent amount of steel now. We're only 23 in the hole. Here's what I need. I just need to go and look over this real quick. How are we never finishing upgrades on infantry equipment at 100 guns per day? Explain. I can't wait until this is all caught up. By the time it's caught up, we're going to be ready for the... Is there another level? No, that's the final one. Thank God. We're actually pretty close on a number of these. We got tier 3 naval bomber, but we don't have the one that actually goes on the boat yet. Oh, we need to start making destroyers. That's what it is. But that's going to be expensive. We need to finish one of these boats. So I guess probably this cruiser hull on the 19th of April the TRN Falcon of Lordran, and then we'll switch over to full-scale destroyer uh, building. Sleeping in an italic stream is like time traveling into the future. It kind of is, yes. How's the justification against Iraq? I think we have till April, and then we can do it. Yeah, I'll move the Air Force. They're not, they're kind of just still doing exercises, I think. We could probably build some more air bases over here. 
They got coverage over a good portion. Abdul Majid II criticized for weak foreign policy. We had the chance to strike our enemies, but the Devlet, Ebed, Mudet let it pass by. Not only is this yet another damning case in a string of missed opportunities to strengthen Ottoman Empire's position internationally, it's a sign that their claim to be acting in the interest of the Turkish people's mostly empty rhetoric. It's time for a change. Our failure to pursue the war many had expected has been the target of scathing criticism from political opponents. Not following through on their military plan will make it more difficult for us to convince the people what direction we're taking. What? We don't even have a war goal yet. What is this talking about? Minus 30 political power. Gain base war support down. Change in popularity of fascism down. Isn't that good? Don't we want fascism to be less popular? I don't know. Very confused. Okay, here's what I think. I know we need logistics companies um, to be good in our um, automobiles gang, right? So let's put the logistics company in there. Who else is good for... Like, is a maintenance company good? That sounds like it's good. Reliability. Who else would you like to throw in with tanks? Engineers? When I came back, I saw the green and I thought Italy had happened. Not yet. Does anybody have any suggestions for what support groups to put in with uh, light armor? Engineer sounds reasonable. Because it just adds soft attack for anti-infantry, hard attack for anti-armor, good breakthrough, good defense. Seems like you can't go wrong. Does it need support artillery or support, an I guess anti-air maybe for an armor group. Do they have a support group for a streamer that streams too long? How long is too long, really? Alright, so we'll put uh, logistics. This helps them use less fuel and supplies. Maintenance. This gives them uh, the ability to capture enemy equipment and more reliability, which is important on tanks. You don't want them to break down. Engineer company to dig in and entrench and maybe cross difficult terrain. And anti-air to try to protect a little bit against bombers and things like that. So this is going to add a need for manpower and various equipment amongst all of our automobile divisions. But it's a good investment. We also have 137 Navy XP, and we just unlocked the awesome Destroyer Mark IV. This one's already decked out pretty good. So we're going to go Light Battery 3, which is for small screen ships in the enemy. I hope we get to use these. Anti-air 3. We gotta choose fire control systems or sonar. Since it's a destroyer, we would like to detect submarines. So sonar makes a lot of sense. It appears that we can do both. No, we can do radar and sonar, but not also fire control. So I think radar and sonar makes a lot of sense. Surface and extra sub detection. That's good. Torpedoes, we still only have tier 1 torpedoes and it feels bad. Light engine 4. Reliability is negative 20% on all these. But uh, max speed up 47%. We want them to be fast. Anti-sub warfare. Depth charge thrower. Yeah. 
Using a small explosive charge, this device throws a depth charge quite some distance, allowing a single ship to drop a pattern across a large area. Absolutely. Double depth charge. Double depth charge plus... Two light batteries? What's good for destroyers? Maybe a second anti-air? What about... Uh, do we have any minesweepers anywhere? Like, we probably want to have someone minesweep just in case, because they're supposed to be screening for other ships. This is going to be a very... Um, functional ship. Really anti-submarine and anti-mine support with a couple of small batteries as well. This is going to be the 1944 Sweeper or Broom. The Broom. What about, like, okay, but it's got depth charges. Chai, you know what submarines and mines are? They're pimples. We gotta name this 1994 Zit. <laughs> the 1944 Zit Destroyer. <laughs> Alright, Zit Destroyer. We gotta pop those Zits, dude. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cancel that. I mean, we're gonna keep the design. But I'm just gonna wait until this cruiser's des designed, and then we can start pumping out destroyers. Outdated equipment in production, what? Naval Bomber 2. Yeah, I know, dude. Just wait until I get- oh! Yeah, no, wait until I get the next research. We're almost done. Oh, it's sleepy time. It is sleepy time. After I... I want to do the war in Iraq. After having suffered from severe illness for a week, Tsar Boris III has died in Bulgaria in 1945 in Sofia of apparent heart failure. He died gamer death. He streamed Hearts of Iron 4 for 15 hours. Mm-hmm. Boris was poisoned during his last meeting, many believe on the orders of Hitler. Others are convinced that it has been the NKVD that poisoned the Tsar. Some point to Great Britain, and disturbing as it may seem, others even dare to claim the Bulgarian government itself is involved. Now he rests in peace, unlike his country. Well, his country is a puppet state. So, about our planes. We've got a decent arsenal. Not great, but 270 Tier 2 fighters, 65 Tier 3 fighters, and we're trying to pump out more Tier 3 fighters. We also don't have any strategic bombers or close support planes. Which would be lovely researches for us to get some close support. They're super useful. Poland invest. <gasps> Poland, our friends! We have recently been informed by Polish officials that the top secret industrial project the Polish sponsored has been completed. They said it, they were not averse to sponsoring similar projects in the future. Malatya has a small, well, guaranteed chance of a military factory, but how many? Malatya is right here. So currently, Malaya has one military... Oh, we got the 50% again. Come on, Poland. You got to give me more than one. Unlucky rolls. Super unlucky. Poland's not trying hard enough. I'm just saying... <sighs> 
die in chat. Die in gamer death. God! We should probably start slowing down on recruitment here. We might be training too many anti-air. I'm going to put these dudes on the Iran border. You guys go over there. Construction-wise, we are full swing in infrastructure. We're trying to get every single state up to 5 out of 5 infrastructure right now. We, why, why are we losing so many factories? We have 15. We got 25. We're down 27 steel on trades. Chad, is Great Britain actually trading with us? Oh, that's aluminum. Okay, I was gonna say. Doesn't make any sense. We are 22 aluminum in the hole, though. I think aluminum is our big shortcoming. Okay, I did just mention how I wanted some close support. So let's get the close support planes next. Chat, I am ready. April. April is when the justification is done. 15th of April. Then we can have our revenge. You're done. Back to the regular one. We've heard those songs too many times. He's losing his mind. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Poland still thinks we're pretty cool. Hey, you want to invest in me, Poland? Yeah, invest in me, Poland. Please. Please get me out of this chat. What do I need to do to get rid of my debt? I'm not sure if I should just keep doing this or just bite the bullet and absorb the TPDA. Do we just have to absorb it to get rid of this? Ban democratic parties. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the game wants me to do. Do they want me to, like, keep... In if you invest in... If you get invested in enough times, does that fix your economy? Or do you just have to do the absorb? The debt administration. We can reintegrate the organization as a national process in order to remove the debt administration as a hurdle. That's what this one says. These ones just say... They don't, they don't mention anything about the debt. Our armed forces have become truly modern. We are no longer there and are no longer the shade they had become after the terrible war of independence. We could take on the world in our current state. We should be proud of how far we've come. Manpower plus 125,000. Gain base wars. That wasn't what it said it was going to do. Also, I did not get 125,000. Maybe it just meant total? Another lie. Chat, am I crazy? I already had 122,000. I know the answer, Etal. It's really easy. All you have to do is follow a couple steps and it'll be fixed. The tip is just play good. That says plus 125,000 manpower. We did not get that. 
I've been on pause. I think that was a... I th okay, here's what I think. I don't think that's a bug. I think it's a typo. Because before you take it, I'm pretty sure that's the one that removes your disorganized military modifier. And now that's gone. So I think that's what it's supposed to do. Maybe they had a version in the game where it did add 125,000 and they just didn't change the before and after text. You know? Because I think it did remove that thing. Research speed plus 8%. That's going to be super nice for what we're doing. We also have bonuses to radar. We need to start building radar. Before we build radar... Let's do one final tier of oil. And... We need some more boat upgrades, I think. And we need to just go back to Doctrine. Okay, I'll go back to Doctrine. We do have a lot of line artillery, so let's do the line artillery one. We do have a bonus on that anyway. Okay, after you're done with inf- <laughs> Angered by Iranian posturing. We already read this one. Preparing for war, so to speak. I don't know. Uh, radar stations. Okay, where do you build radar stations? Allow you to gain intel on enemy troops in nearby states. A higher radar level in a state increases effective range. Provides the state with better detection of enemy air forces, giving planes a better chance to engage them. In addition, radar increases the detection of fleets at sea. I assume you just want to build them on your border. How expensive are they? 3,300. Not bad. So we'll build one there. Edern would be good. Izmir. Maybe just spread them out like this. Yeah. Woo! EU stream! Is this a World War II game? Yes. It's basically World War II simulator, but we're playing a historical, so things are wild and off the rails. And also, I've been live for 15 hours and I'm dying gamer death. Uh, I don't know why this is duplicating. I'm not sure. So, excuse me if I'm very low energy right now, chat. Thank you for being here in the first place. I appreciate you, Morning Squad. And supporting my bad habits. <laughs> Uh, I will be taking the day off today. <laughs> and coming back on Monday. With probably a change of pace so we don't... Apparently there's going to be another Hearts of Iron stream. It doesn't look like we're going to die. What I'll probably do is do another Hearts of Iron stream this week. And then if we lose after like an hour or two, just switch to CK3. But I really want to... Now I want to play this out. You know, I want to see... What happens. So let's do the Absorb the TPDA. This is the basically the national debt. We're going to print money. Money printer go burr to try to pay off our debt. We lose 10% base stability. But I think it's the right thing to do right now. So let's just do it. Absorb the debt. With only the stroke of a pen, the Turkish Public Debt Administration has turned from a private entity to a state-owned public entity. We administer our debt, we control our debt, and we can diminish our debt. We have risen high in the world. Yeah, this, that's true. You've got a point there. Okay, production-wise, this... Hey, this is the one we want. Who determines the borders of a nation? We question Iraqi sovereignty. I think the Iranian ones are triggering too soon. I believe that is our... Well...
We have until the 15th of April. Anyway, what I was looking at was our boat. Justification for um, the war in Iraq is finished. I'm going to cancel my non-aggression pact after I save the game. Ottoman Empire goes to war! At last! Long have we waited! But before we do that, I'm gonna finish this boat. I've got permission! Streamer bravely games through bugs, camel memes, and lack of sleep. I tip my hat to you, sir. Thank you, Craither. Paradox sponsorship win. Well, I had a CK3 sponsored stream already. So, can't be too greedy. Alright, that 1944 Zit Destroyer, that's the dude now. That's the dude. This cruiser hole kind of don't care about you. Sorry, Miss Isabel. We'll get to you if we get to you. But we actually have good steel all the way down this. We're 39 military factories. We're actually almost done with military equipment, and then we can reallocate these factories uh, to where we need them to go. First we waited for the king to die, now we wait for war. We're always waiting! Okay, but seriously, now we're not waiting. We're actually about to do it. Dude, we actually have enough light tanks for all of our tank divisions, too. This is a glorious day. <gasps> we have mechanized equipment in excess of what we need? <gasps> we only need a hundred more fighters to replace all the fighters that we have? That's not true, but... How, how are we getting away with this? Okay, we need the carrier naval bomber. That's the one that I forgot. We only need 20 of these. So, it's not that many. Okay, those are the ones that I forgot. Iraq, I wanted to do this peacefully. I salute you. The Ottoman Empire has declared war on Iraq. And the plan that we have been planning is at maximum planning. They are at 39%, the total maximum plan preparation bonus. Activate the plan. They're going in, chat. All 24 divisions. I trust in the AI. Oh, hang on. Planes. Planes. We want... Air superiority? Right? And then we only have these 11 baby close air supports. Which suck. I know. We're working on it. Which numbers are ours? Green? You want it to be green and as high as possible. And you can see the tug of war at the top. There's also like casualties here somewhere. But you can see that they have enemy air superiority, that's us, and we're attacking from multiple directions. Um, on top of that, we're gonna get the navy. No, we don't need the navy. That's Syria. Okay, logistics company two. That's better than one. I think chat wanted me to get signal companies, but I don't remember now, honestly. It's 1945. Let's get the best engineer company money can buy. No, I wanted to get uh, heavy tanks. Just because it'd be stupid. <laughs> Let's get heavy tanks and be dumb. Okay, planes are in the sky. They're helping us out. Uh, the first tile has retreated. We're moving in. The front is moving up. We're pushing them back. In the distant future, 1945.
They know what they're doing. They're reorganizing. I believe in my dudes. I don't know why they're being so coy about this particular spot. Maybe we should just be more aggressive? Why are these- these guys are like losing. I'm not exactly sure. I'm paused right now. Why have we lost 17,000 troops versus their 9,000? We should have invested in camels, chat. They only have 10 units, I have 24. I could send in more, I just don't want to take attrition. Who are we clicking on right here? Um... Here's what we'll do. I got an idea. I got an idea. New idea, chat. It's gonna screw up the plan, though. Hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a new front line. Or rather, a new offensive line. Here. That didn't work. What? What if I just manually told this entire army to just push on this? Piratology, what's up? Yeah, I think that they're just super dug in right now. I believe that's what it is. Oh, these guys are... What are you guys doing? I think they're going back to the front line. Yeah, I'm curious what the AI's plan here is. They're supposed to be executing uh, a push all the way to here, but they're being very passive about moving up. It seems like. They've definitely got the advantage in a number of places. I think they're on balance right now. We will, um... Let's just switch to aggressive. For this particular battle plan. We're gonna lose a lot of people here. <laughs> Lin Lease from Iran. What? Iran is helping us? Don't they know we're justifying war goals? Okay. How do you get two armies to follow one battle plan? Or is that even a thing? Chad, do you think they'll let me use the Suez Canal? Or the Strait of Gibraltar to make a, a naval invasion right here. Emirlerinizi bekliyorum. Bana kulak verin. Let's just go for Baghdad with this whole squad. I don't think we're doing too well. The green bar is health. It's actually organization, but imagine that it means health. And when it goes to zero, you retreat. So if you want to know what to look for, look for that. So their green bar is being very low is extremely good. All right, we finally got three of them to, to pull back. We're finally going to take this area. And I think we got the upper hand through overwhelming numbers. If we have to throw... MORE OTTOMAN SOLDIERS ONTO THE PILE THAN SO BE IT! You would not be a good dictator if you did not sacrifice a number of people. <laughs> ah! 
Oh! <laughs> uh, the Soviet Union just declared war on Poland? Question mark? I don't know why they waited till n now, and maybe they were just so upset that they couldn't fight the Germans. They couldn't get to the Germans to fight them, so they're just like, we'll just go through Poland. The bad news for Poland is it's the Soviet Union, and they've probably still got a ton of troops. The good news for Poland is... That their buddies should jump in. They're in the same faction. Yeah, we're suffering some casualties here, but reinforcements are on the way, chat. We're, we're having some problems. We are definitely having some problems. I'm curious what their army comp is that they're so tough. They're not organized. We got this person surrounded. Throw more bodies on that fire you started. That's exactly what I'm doing. All right, someone needs to take that. All right, now we're kind of splitting them up where there's only like one per stack. So the number is how many divisions there are. So like there's three divisions on top of this. If you don't know what to look for. There we go. All right, now we're making it move. Now we're making it move. I think we've, uh, we've thrown 62,000 bodies onto the pile versus 30,000 Iraqis. We've got 700,000 fielded manpower. We're not even using, this isn't even my final form. Fakhri Pasha wounded and bringing the battle to a conclusion. It seems the general has put a bit too much risk while leading his men. He's been wounded, and it'll be some time before he can heal. He will not be performing at his usual level. The general got wounded? All right, fam. Maybe we should go back to balance. Let's go back to balance for a little bit since we've made a nice push in. I think that's a good idea. Uh, what should I do with these 18 boys? We're suffering attrition all over the place, but it's only 1%. Uh, I feel like if we just make a front line here and then give them a second offensive line, it seems like I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. That's just what I'm going to do. We will let them work in tandem. I don't know how to get multiple... Okay, I know you're supposed to do the field marshal, but I don't want the other armies on that. So I think I just need a second field marshal. I'll do that next time. We'll do it smarter next time. Uh, how you doing, Poland? Which one's Poland, dude? They're in the Soviet war on Poland. Okay, that's that's the Iran justification for war if we want it. We're not even done with Iraq. Uh, uh. How we feeling, men? Sula Manaya. 
Jump on it. What do we got? We got artillery and an two anti... I think we have too many anti-air squadrons over here. But we got a reasonable number of artillery. They just seem super ineffective versus default soldiers. Uh, my tank squads... Where's my tank squads, chat? There's one. It's almost dead. Um, tanks are in the other group. Oh, there's like three sets of light tanks right there. They should be getting destroyed. We're attacking from multiple directions. We got air support and they have enemy air superiority debuffs. Why do they have 84 soft attack and 85 soft attack and I have 19, 20, and 5? Can anyone explain that? Are we all retreating? River crossing to hills. Um, I think my soldiers have taken a break. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, boys. I'll get you some close air support soon, okay? Let's let our, our team recover some uh, organization and some power. We should also probably start slowing down on, um, burning through manpower right now. So we might just, like, calm it. Leave 80,000 for reinforcements. Hour 15. Give it up, everybody, for hour 15! He's got nothing left in the tank. All I gotta do, I just gotta finish this. This is my one accomplishment that I need to feel like I didn't just sit there all day and beat a civil war. It was all for this, chat. Is it micromanage time? Everyone, get in there. With our powers combined! You've entertained every time zone! I doubt that. Okay, so when you attack from three different directions, you get some pretty big buffs. So, they may get some, uh, good kills, but... We just need to put some pressure on, because nobody's moving. It's a stalemate. And we've got the numerical advantage. One's going away. There goes the other guy. Um, we need to put some pressure here now, but you guys can just chill. I'll let my army kind of reform. I don't know who's going to get here first. We do! Hey, we do! There's three stacks right there. So we just kind of need to relax for a minute. My troops are dying 21% attrition gamer death. <laughs> That's probably what's going on, dude. There's a lot of attrition, man. <laughs> Holy crap. 21%? All right, I honestly don't know how supply lines work. I also don't know how I would take over this territory normally without doing with what I'm doing. This is all new. What's our casualties looking like? 90,000 Ottoman Empire soldiers? Woo! Build infrastructure. Bro, it's not even... I'm invading Iraq! You want me to lay train tracks? 
like I'm in uh, Wallace and Gromit. As I move through hostile territory. Let's let everybody get organized. Let them move the way they want to move and see what they do. The AI is biding its time. There's really not that many enemy forces and they're all like back to full organization. These guys are taking ages to cross this river. Well, the good news is we're almost full on gas. We got like 350,000 delicious fuels. All right, how are you guys feeling? I think it's time for a big push. Okay, you there, tanks? I think the AI's like, actually... I don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, well, you may not wanna, but you gotta. You gotta. Colombia joined the North American Association. You gotta. You gotta. And you gotta. Well, you don't gotta. You can chill. Haiti joined the North American Association. Why'd you guys stop moving? When you're winning. It's because one of them retreated because of low organization. You dinguses. How's buddy Poland doing? They just got declared on by the Soviet Union, so not well. All right, um... I think the play here is delete their front line. Sorry, boys, but I gotta take manual control because you're not doing it. All right, you guys stay where you are. Go this way. You guys can do it. I'm deleting all your commands, all right? This is annoying. I can do this myself, thank you. I got this chat. I am assuming direct control. These guys, these two guys are gonna be enough to get me killed. hard time here chat why are we losing this river is incredibly difficult do I have mountain troops no this is hills maybe they get a small bonus in hills as well but it's just this attrition that we're suffering so much that I'm having to be extra aggressive here's what we do I know what to do we're going to encircle.
We're going to encircle them. Eventually. <laughs> Give me some time. All right, obviously our infantry sucks. So let's get our soft attack and defense and breakthrough up and then go down the heavy tank path again. Imagine losing to a rock right now when we have 800,000 troops. Okay, so we took this. Gonna bring these guys in from the side. Damn, they just, why, why does my organization break in two seconds? It's gotta be bad supply. I gotta make them split up. 15 hours of prep just to die in Iraq. Yeah, I'm doing my best. Here's what I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna promote one of these dinguses. To be a field marshal. This guy. I'm gonna make him an aggressive assaulter. Okay, now, here's the plan. General Mustafa, you got four skill, no supply. You're in. No, hang on. Yeah, you're in. Okay. Second. This dude. Also under you. He's also a level four, but he's only got two attack skill. So we're gonna replace you with someone else. You're getting replaced with... This dude. You're being delegated back. Okay. So, people are gonna be... Um... He's currently en route from previous command. That's fine. We're just gonna sit here and die attrition. I are losing. The only reason I'm fighting this war is because the game bugged and I was supposed to already be puppet stating uh, Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan, but the event didn't fire. So not only are they not in my faction, but they're not puppeted by me. So now I have to do it the old fashioned way. And it's giving, it caused a hundred thousand soldiers to die for no reason. <sighs> and we didn't have anything else to do, so we may as well just <laughs> execute our war goals to reform the Ottoman Empire. We're so far back here that they've only got like, they're, they're so spread out. Are you guys done? Five days. This guy's got 13 days. It's not that hard. Uh, you gotta... De chat hasn't even deleted even a single 50,000 channel points. Can you believe that? So now here's what I can do. We can create a new front line with the field marshal. Okay, with the plan like that. So we'll let them move the way the AI wants them to move.
Why is Iran helping me so much when I'm going to declare war on them next? They don't know that. We got 150k. That haven't been scammed. <laughs> they haven't even been scammed. I am an investor. <laughs> I am an investor. Alright, we got 60 carrier naval bombers. Enough of that. Let's do regular naval bombers. I want to double dip on double destroyers instead of this car- well, the carrier's got one year. Cruiser is so close to done, dude. We're not getting the artillery supplies we need. Okay. Are you guys all lined up and stuff the way you like? No, what's taking you so long? Everybody's moving and marching. Get into position. Figure out your plan. <laughs> Why is everyone coming and ask about Poland immediately? What's up with that? This is third person in the last, like, 20 minutes. Is it a meme? Poland news. <laughs> <laughs> Poland is fending off, um, the Soviet Union. Alongside Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. So they're not having fun. Alright, they all finished moving. Their plan prep is at 28%. I say we go ahead and execute it, chat. Will they even move? Does the exclamation point mean they're scared? Their organization's too low to advance. Bro, it's not that hard. Boom. I'm sure this is fine. It's probably not. We're probably all gonna die. The AI knows best. But let's just play aggressive and get everybody killed. That plan looks good to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Overwhelming numbers, chat. That's all you need, dude. All right, we took a piece. We took a piece. Can we take more pieces of the pie? Throw the bodies at them. Keep it up. Do it for the Ottoman Empire! We gotta take Baghdad eventually. I don't know what these- these guys are really slow moving up. Alright, I don't think we got them on the ropes. They kinda got us on the ropes, but... We've got them one and one and one and one, which is really nice. So if we can just close these guys up and then go around the side, we're going to be having a good time. Arrows everywhere. There, is that better? We surrounded Baghdad. Not sure how useful that is. All 
right, we cut these guys off. These guys are all alone. I think they're both moving right now. All your channel points have come to this chat! 140,000 Ottomans have bravely died. We need to have some babies. <laughs> <laughs> and continue building up our infantry. Our infantry is pitiful. All right, these guys are totally encircled and gone. Okay, those guys have been delete. So maybe go back to um balance maneuvers for a minute, just to chill. As these, cause these guys got to get in position. All right, we've almost taken Baghdad. There's your super close air support. All right, we got to double up on improved infantry equipment because this is embarrassing. Like, just regular-ass infantry. Probably just need more better support companies. Yeah, let's go engine... Well... Let's get the better mechanics. We definitely need better logistics for supply usage, obviously. Supplies have been critical failure here. Really, really bad. No <laughs> hospitals. Yeah, I don't know. Chat says uh, they suck. Chat says they're good. Leningrad, the former capital of the Russian Empire, has been occupied by... You read that right. Finnish forces. With a population of over 3 million, the city has nearly as many inhabitants as all of Finland. But this fact has evidently not deterred Finnish attackers. There is some debate as to whether the city should be reintegrated to Greater Finland, since... Ingri and Finns make up a considerable minority in the regions outside the city. This, of course, assumes the Red Army is unable to retake it in a counteroffensive. Greater Finland is, of course, a fascist Axis power. Before you pump it, Finland, <laughs> you may need to know that. How's the battle for Baghdad? You were very brave, single unit. But the Ottoman Empire... ...has more people. Another general got wounded? For 90 days, that's very annoying. Time to take Baghdad, who's in? Tug of warring it up over here too. Elastic defense, we're using shock. Defender tactic damage down. We're closing it up, chat. Hey, we took Baghdad. All right, the capital is down. Finally, the Ottoman Empire grows. We're gonna have our hands full soon. All right, we need to start making close air support. Obviously. This is embarrassing. So close air support with um, attack up. Okay. We're gonna do uh, carrier fighters for when those are useful. We want them to be very useful. How can I get more air experience without doing exercises? And then let's get just default fighters. That's all I got. We got 133 army XP though. We're definitely gonna refit the army, but not tonight. Oh 
you gotta make this all complicated, dude. Iraq has capitulated. Abdul Majid II has announced that the cowardly Iraqi nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Turkish bodies throughout the country. The Iraqi government chose to flee and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated, and the Ottoman Empire is in control of their home area. Though the war continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for them. Great news, we took their gear. Wow. They've got 13, 1400 support equipment, which we can actually use immediately. Um, they have 700 advanced artillery and 600 improved artillery. Is that, which one's tier three? Do they have tier three artillery? They also have, uh, dude, they have 250 anti-tank. No wonder they were kicking our ass. And we got 25,000 fuel. So, this is what you guys were talking about. Uh, option A, conquer. Option B, liberate the states to Kurdistan. What? Okay, so you guys gotta... Does someone know how to use this? What do I actually click? <laughs> this UI. I have no idea. I'm the only guy, so it doesn't matter, but what... <laughs> what do I click? Because when I click that, it changes. I don't know what's going on here, dude. Yes, chat, I'm aware conquer. That does, but the menu changes every time I click something. Current demands, Turkish demands, take Mosul, take Al Hajara, or take Baghdad. Are those all three? Is that everything? In turn, yes? Nothing left to take. Done. Ottoman Empire took three states. Iraq was annexed. 40,000 equipment was seized. He's done it. <sighs> He's done it. Hey, did you know that we have resistance to our occupation? <laughs> Who could have foreseen this? <laughs> And we can release them if we want, which of course we do not want. Now we gotta do the garrison ball game all over again. We only need 1.83 divisions though. Okay, well that was chaotic. However, they're not done. There is going to be a new front line on the Iran border. That's a whole different ballgame, though. At this stage, we just want to chill. You've also got Saudi Arabia down there, but that's not us. So. We also have a war. We can declare war on Britain whenever we want, dude. <laughs> Destroyer's almost done. Carrier's almost done. So, when you annex, do we get to use their factories? Because I don't see any of them. We only have the same we did before. Um, okay, well, first things first, 
it's clear that some more infrastructure along the Iran border would be very nice. So let's go 6 out of 10. <laughs> Over there. I think. That'd be cool. But yeah, I don't see any of their uh, stuff. Maybe I don't understand it. We're getting 28 factories from trade, but where are they? We only have 30 total. I don't understand. I'm only using 12 for trade. So if we do the math, I'm only using 12 for trade. We're using eight, they're using 18 for consumer goods. I think they're using them all. Wow, how do I get that down? Chat. We should have changed to war economy while we were at war. That's still only a 5% consumer goods. Um, but yeah. And we have extensive conscription right now. Service by requirement is a little extreme, but we could probably use the extra soldiers at this stage. Yeah, at this stage, 5% will make a big difference. I can't change export focus because... We're going to lose all of our trade um, factories. We're not down that many in resources. We're going to lose 29... We're going to lose 15 factories if I change my uh, export. Oh no, it's 1945. War is going to be so laggy. Well, we just did our own war as it happens. Support weapons 4. I think uh, we, we all saw how terrible our infantry just did. They need help. They might need field hospitals. <laughs> no, they probably need, um... What do we need? What's your infantry template? Bad. It's bad. We're trying to improve it. Don't worry about what it is. Worry about what it could be. Is Signal Company any good? I'm already researching logistics. We could go Field Hospital, because it seems like we're losing a bunch of people. Recon will help on offense. Okay, we'll do Recon Company 2 then. I need to save and quit, chat, before it becomes a 16-hour stream, okay? <laughs> we expanded the Ottoman Empire. We got a lot to do, even though it's 1945. There's always another thing to do. We also have 450 political power. Future retail can decide. Ottoman reborn PS war Iran please there you go I have no energy I have no enthusiasm you gotta I gotta rip the plug dude rip it up hey if the game ended right this second guess what we aren't even in the top 20 okay that's not true three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we're like 13th after Sweden of all people
chat, we're not even actually in the top 20 navies. <laughs> we gotta try harder! That's What does navy score even do? Chat, Japan has 27 fleets. I think that's just... they. I think they cheesed it. They probably have only like 30 ships, and they just split each one into a new fleet. That's what it is. That's what's definitely going on. Dude, we do have an amazing industry, considering German Reich 782. Wow, we we're doing pretty good, considering we we still got like seven years at least before the end of the game. That's plenty of time to to get some stuff done. Annex Iran and Afghanistan, and then turn our attention to the German Empire. Hopefully, they're weak by then. Ooh, all right, I'm dying, gamer death for real. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm glad I was able to accomplish our goals. Ooh, we did do no debate. Ottoman restoration operation was a success. Even if we had to get around a couple of bugs to do it, I had a lot of fun. That means there's going to be another one, but not for a few days. We need to take a break. It's been three days of Hearts of Iron in a row. Everyone's brain is melting from seeing the, the Matrix numbers. So we're just going to, uh, we're going to play a couple other games. In the meantime, we're going to take Sunday off. I'll see you guys on Monday. We're going to relax. Since we all survived, who gets the sub sandwich? Wow. <sighs> Go to bed. <laughs> now I get to say that. Sorry, I couldn't have more energy at the end, but you know how it is. Thank you for uh, the end of stream bits. Smile for fun. Much appreciated. I will see you guys again in like uh, three, like 4 p.m. on Monday. I want to do some raft. Probably do some raft. We got other games too. We'll see CK3 again at some point. Uh, I want to do some more spooky horror. Play Alien Isolation or something. I don't know. We got all sorts of stuff we can we can grab. There's no shortage right now, and I'm expecting one more Hearts of Iron stream. And call that a finale. I'm not planning on starting a third campaign. I just want to see this one through. I'm committed now. I'm invested in my Ottoman Empire. We actually did a successful war. Even if we gave up 140,000 <laughs> lives to annex Iraq. <laughs> Alright everybody. Good night for now. Thank you for hanging out with me. And keeping me company. And also for the help along the way. Um, I think the Hearts of Iron streams have gotten progressively better. I was very frustrated in the first one. I was pretty frustrated in the second one, and I was not frustrated really today at all. I was just having a good time and coasting. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go... We have streamed so long that Shinrear is currently streaming. So those of you who are still left, get your hisses ready to go! All of you, I need your powers! Also playing Hearts of Iron, and I'm sure Shinrear is infinitely more knowledgeable than I am. And uh, also much faster and less pausing. But it looks like a new game just began. Also Rise of the Ottomans. Uh, and this is a 1936 campaign. So see what they do differently than me. Because they're probably going to accomplish <laughs> what we wanted to accomplish in a much faster period of time. Thank you all. Good night. Hiss. War. And uh, give Shin a follow if you haven't already. Awesome broadcast. Good night, chat. I'll see you soon. Now go, my minions!